How you doing? How you doing, people? Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the Mixed Mo Show, live Saturday night um, with me, Mixed Mo, as your host. And tonight's stream, uh, like many others, is all about small engines, uh, general chit chat, having a fantastic time, and just just taking it easy. That's what we're that's what we're trying to do on this uh, on this live stream. As always, give us a thumbs up in the chat if you can hear me. That'd be much appreciated. Just so I know that I'm pumping out audio and visual as usual. Don't know how the internet's going to be tonight. It may go down. It may go up. I've got no idea at all. Uh, but we, but we'll see how we get on. Um, Chamber, how you doing? Not, um, hi, nice to see you. Is that was that you that came around my house today? Was that you? Was that you that came around my house today? I don't. Um, someone popped around my house today um, to pick up a lawnmower. It, it was the Cumps, and I uh, just haven't got time for it. I just you know doing doing so many mows at the moment. Don't have time for it, so I just just sold its bez repair. And this uh, gentleman turned up and said, uh, "Oh my God, you're mixed mows. You're mixed mows. I watch all your videos. Yes, yeah, nice to see you. Anyway, welcome to the show. This is a mixed mows live show, so." Please, I know you might be at work, buddy, but um, hopefully you'll get that lawnmower up and running. I had no time for it, so um, you know it's, it's all yours. Hope, hopefully, you can get it running and turn a few quid. That'd be good. So, hope you're doing good, everybody. Um, you all know the rules of a chat. Rules of a chat are very, very simple. Um, no, no swearing, no, no capital letters, uh, no foul language, all that sort of stuff. No more than two emojis. No bullying, and no self promotion. Uh, if you want to promote your channel, come on up onto the onto the stream. Talk about your channel that way. That, that'd be cool. So um, we all know the rules. For those um, of you that don't know the rules and are new, there's the rules just below me just down here. Pardon me, summer dinner. And uh, if you don't abide by the uh, by the guidelines, that they are actually community guidelines set by YouTube to keep your channel monetized. If you don't um, keep to them, then YouTube will just get rid of um, not only my stream, but uh, potentially your, your channel as well. So you need to uh, just make sure that you keep to community guidelines best best, best you can. Otherwise, uh, you know, there'll be trouble. So the moderator is dressed in blue. And they will, um, if you don't adhere to them, they will um, give you a uh, comment, say, pack it up, or they will then uh, delete your, your comment there and time you out and then hide you from the chat. If you get hidden from the chat, it's then down to me to remember to make sure that um, you can come back next time. So make sure you're doing it right. This video is being reviewed. Love it. It's good. It's my monetization done. What sort of week have I been having? Yeah, not a bad week. Let me just grab me. Um, let me just grab me uh my emails. I was gonna show you what I've been what I've been up to. If I can find it. Uh, new tools, there you go. New tools as fiber up. <clears throat> so as some of you may have seen on my Instagram post, um I have got a new toolbox. Uh, the new toolbox is now here. Um it's in place. So there will be a video coming out on it very, very soon. Um so look look out for that. A nice big 72 inch um stainless steel um toolbox uh it, it, it is it is proper nice without a doubt it is nice and so i've been going through very very um quickly trying to um get my tools sort of sorted i've done a video on the on the shadow foam as well because i bought a product called shadow foam um off of a company called shadow foam um and to do my tools and this is currently what my toolbox looks like there's a bit of a mess in, in, on top of it but this is what it currently looks like at the, at the moment i've been busy for about a week a week solid doing this off and on um let's get some comments up first that'd be good that's it um so where's my tools uh there we are so there's my allen keys um all cut in looks nice talk spits all cut in looks nice uh, mole grips got two more pairs of welding grips somewhere. I can't find them. They are about somewhere, but I should cut them in when when I find them. Uh, odds and sods, draw pliers and uh, long nose snips, side cutters, uh, long nose pliers that side. Uh, there's my spanner drawer, all cut in, done nice. And there also is my um, socket drawer, all done nice as well, all my extension bars. And also, I've got some uh, fuel cutters there. I've also got another photograph somewhere of my sockets as well. I don't think I've uploaded it onto this, onto this uh, imagery. But uh, that's all my, that's it, as my toolkit currently looks like at the moment. I've got loads more to do. And about another five or six drawers to actually put in yet. So I'm super happy with that. And I think I think you'll agree. It it, it, do, it does look spanking, right? It does look good. Looks sweet, Mick. Yeah, I thought you'd say that, um, Hobby Motor. It looks good, eh? Hi, Pete. Um, so, yeah, <clears throat> very, very nice. Cupcake, says the lawnmower detective. Yeah, it, look, it does look good. Eh? I, I'm, I'm super chuffed with it. Super chuffed with it. And um, hopefully I can keep it keep it going that way. It does it does tend to make you respect your tools more. And, um, you know, I, I couldn't find my extension bar to put away a lawnmower. It's doing my head in. I thought not have to buy another extension bar, surely. But anyway, you know, it's, it's, it's all there. It's all good. So um, I'm super happy with that. What sort of day have I had today? I, this week alone ha has been relatively busy just doing my toolbox. I've been working nights, been working silly shifts on nights. 
And uh, this week um, or today, we've had absolutely torrential rain. And I mean, it's been proper raining. Big, fat, heavy droplets. In fact, the, the fellow that was in the chat a minute ago who came to my house, he actually had to park out in the driveway and wait about 15 minutes for it to stop raining. It was proper rain. Um, but I think I've punched about probably about eight or ten mowers in two, two or three days um, out, out and about and done. Um, I've got two or three more going tomorrow morning, which is good. I've got another six to go and pick up on Monday. So, yeah, doing 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 loads. Uh, on top of that, I got did get some stickers, which I will do um, separately in a video because I, I did a video just the other day where <clears throat> um, I've moved me – I, I emptied my, 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 my stack system toolbox, gone over to, to this big tool chest, I've had to move all the stickers off a toolbox, and some did rip. Anyway, so I have asked for some for some stickers to come back for those uh, that did rip. And um, some of you guys have already sent some out. So I've got some off of Andrew Throne. Um, he's got his address on the back of it. Cool. No worries, bud. Uh, yep. So I've got some from Andrew Throne. I've got some from James uh, Gibson. Cheers, James. They turned up just today. Literally, they came about three hours ago. So that's cool. Thank you, James. I've got one from Mr. Retro Restore over at Butler's Empire. Cheers for that, um, Mr. Martin Butler. And one from his boy, um, Gary, or um, Bert, uh, from Project Man. So I've got one of his now as well. I've also got in the post, these are quite cool, um, from the original um, mowers and blowers um, from Henry. He sent me this one here, which is quite nice. He also sent me this one here, which is quite nice too. I like that one too. That's cool. And he also sent me this one here, um, Mowers and Blowers YouTube as well, um, a holographic one as well. So Henry sent me free over as well. So if you do have any stickers that you want to send me, uh, email me up. My email address can be found at the bottom of my screen right now. There's my email address. So email me up. And um, if you want to send me any stickers to go onto my wall of shame, um, you can put them on. So we'll do those on a shout-out video separately anyway. <coughs> Get those done. Um, what else been up to? Um, yeah, so... Uh, Picked up a, a sold a hate of 41 the other day. Happy of that. And a bloke said he had a hate of 48 um, who liked to trade in. But this is very, very old. It's got a bit of a chip in the deck. And it's an absolute pig to start. Um, so I so said I wouldn't trade it in. Um, not, not really my cup of tea. And um, he said, you, you can have it. Take it. You know, if you want it for spares. So I took it to spares. Oh, my Lord. The simplest of fixes. And the machine runs absolutely sweet as nuts. So I felt a little bit a little bit sorry for the bloke. Um, I did say I was going to strip it down for parts. But do you know what? I've got to put it up for sale because it runs lovely. Um, and um, I wasn't expecting it to. I was expecting it to be an, an absolute swine. But a really, really simple fix. Video coming up on how to fix that. Um, really, really simple. So done that. Also been having primer issues. Primer bulb issues on quantums. Have we all had them issues before where where we where the machine just will will not prime no matter what you do? Yeah, right. We all have those issues, right? So um I had a machine which which I've had over over for sale for quite a while. And uh, I've just been a bit reluctant to sell it because um it starts and when it don't start and it's a little bit it's not as reliable as I would like. And you've got to pump it like ten times as well. Um and you know, to ask somebody to prime a machine ten times to start it, it's a bit of a bit of an ask. And sometimes it won't start on the first ten. After three pulls, you've got to give it another ten. So oh, I'm not doing that. So anyway, what I did was I converted it from a priming um, quantum to a um, a choking quantum. So I actually had an old quantum over here, which is an old choking system. I took all the plates off, the control panel off, fitted it to it, and converted a um, priming. Uh, quantum to a choking quantum and it starts first pull absolutely i put it on to choke away it goes so super happy with that um so you that, that is a thing if you're not sure how to do it you can get around it you're the only different is you must have a different carb right you must have an auto carb with, with a, a sort of choking carb quantum and you must also have a, a backing plate which is not a priming backing plate however what i did i didn't have a spare um, back plate so i had a priming plate which i just cut the, the priming assembly off cut it flush stuck it to it and yeah no problem at all. So that's, that's good. That one's gone. So super happy about that. So been busy, busy, busy. Riley Boy's up in bed. He, he's had a right day of it today. Just been chilling out. But he went to bed about 5 o'clock, about an hour before he was due to go to bed. And, uh, yeah, do you know what? He, he was ready. So that was that. We just had a kebab for our dinner because uh, Mrs. P's been out picking the boys up and dropping people off and doing bits of pizza. We had a nice little kebab for dinner. And she's now sat indoors watching Netflix um, all by herself, which is nice. Um, Nana P is in the... Um, in a little annex watching um, her programs. I bought some nice custard slices for her for her pudding. So she's in there scoffing that. So 
Uh, anyone ever worked on a rover mower? Yeah, I've worked on rovers. Yeah, yeah. Do you find them in Ireland, the rover mowers, Paul E? Um, I've seen quite a few over in Ireland, but um, yeah, I have worked on rover mowers before. Yeah. Um, so that's that. So that's what I've been up to. Let's have a look in the chats so what you guys have been up to. I know you've been there for a little while, and my um, live chat has been um, frozen. I've got 64 in the house. So give us some thumbs up if you'd be so kind. Uh, let's get rid of my email address. <clears throat> let's get rid of that. And pop out chat. There it is there. Uh, first in the house was Sparky Boy. Uh, hi, all. Have fun. Uh, shall be in later on, but, in the, but I'll be in the chat. Oh. Okay, no worries. Obviously, he's giving me a bit of a wide berth at the moment for some reason. Andrew Throne in my house. I'm looking forward to the stream. Um, I hear you got your mug, Andrew Throne. Um, hopefully, anyone that won a prize for my 7,000 subscriber giveaway, um, all the prizes were sent out on Friday. So that's actually a good, good post, actually. Um, Andy, I just sent them out yesterday. So you got yours, and I believe Benedict White, who's normally late in the chat, he's uh, he's got his. So if you did get your mug... Uh, let me know in the chat, please. Um, but hopefully they all reach you in one piece. They are, they are padded out quite well, so hopefully they all reach you. Um, Dick Small Engines in the house. How are you doing, Dick? Nice to see you, buddy boy. Hope you and your family well. My family doing fantastic. Thank you very much indeed, buddy boy. So is um, Tinkering Taylor. Uh, he's in there too. How are you doing, Nev? Yeah, we're doing well. Thank you, Nev. Thanks for coming in. Ken Small Engines is in the chat. Uh, I'm on time this week, he says. It makes a change, um, Ken, because you were late last week. How are you doing well, Ken? I see a hobby motor. How are you doing, mate? Just watch one of your videos on your uh, Rototilla. That's a good little, good little machine. Got it all up and running. Nice to see. Jason Hughes in the house. Jason, your mug's on its way to you. Stephen Gribble, how are you doing, buddy boy? Your mug is on the way to you, too. Nice to see you. Grandpa, how are you doing, Gramps? Henry Morsky, how are you doing, buddy boy? Nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming on in. Uh, hobby motor, you're saying hi to everybody else. Nice to see. Nice, nice, nice to see. Tinkering Taylor. Um, Henry Spellcheck sucks. Yeah, it does, definitely. Especially when you're foreign. Uh, hi Ken, quick question: Briggs and uh, Briggs 3.5 Classic. What should the crank end play be? Uh, I've got one moving approximately one eighth, one eighth, uh, zero, zero four zero five foul. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not sort of rocket science. You know, it's, as long as you, as long as you've got some end play, is good. Too much is, is obviously going to be a bit of concern, but but like Terrell says, you know, it's it's a lawnmower. As long as, as long as you've got some end play, is good, but not too much. I think it's about zero four zero five, something like that. Um, Hobby Motor um, has given me um, fifty DKK for the company parts. He's being funny. You see, any more of that? You know what'll happen to you? Uh, Jason Hughes in the house. Mac two tens in the house. Hey, do Mac? I see. Thanks for popping on in. Uh, Benedict White, hello, mixed mowers. Uh, you're late. I was not late. I was bang on time, buddy boy. Um, Stephen, I usually set around 0405, but I'll look yet. Yeah. Uh, DKK is around 50 cents. Cheers for that. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, Ken saying 0405. Yeah, there you go. That's confirmed. Stephen Gribble, um, hi, Ken. All need to know, dude. Thanks. Oh, Ken, Ken got called a dude. That's quite good for an old man, ain't Ken, isn't it? Being called a dude. People your age aren't normally called dudes. Um, let let the let let it rumble time. Yeah, Andrew says it's rumble time. Definitely. Um, you've been deleted. Why are you why are you deleted? Hi, Mick. Um, oh, that chat. Why is that deleted then? Or was that just deleted? I don't know why that's deleted. Uh, Dazza eighty four. How you doing, buddy? Well, not see. I hope you're doing well. Jar the mechanic. How you doing, mate? Not see. Thanks for popping in. Um, Jason. How you doing? Not see. All right. Um, it's deleted by Ken Small Engines. Yeah. Now that fellow there who you delete in there, uh, he actually came into my um into my house today. I believe that, I believe that to be the person coming to my house. I, I don't know why you're deleting, guys. I'm working now, but the carburetor is... Yeah, okay. He, he didn't he didn't know to swear. That's fine. He didn't know he was not supposed to swear. He came around my house today. So I don't know if you're tying him out, but uh, he actually popped around my house today, that gentleman there. Um, yeah, no foul language. And then you got timed out for 30 seconds. That's what happens, yeah. You get timed out if you swear. Um, <clears throat> dear, uh, DR, how are you doing? I'll see you. Thanks for popping in. Hope you're doing well. AJP Guard Machines, hope you're doing well. DK Tractors, how are you doing? Buddy boy, nice to see you. Thanks for popping on in. Uh, kids watch this channel. Yeah, I know exactly that, Ken. I don't think he knew. I don't think you, buddy. He watches me, um, my videos, but never on stream before. So it, new to a channel, new to a channel. He didn't know. Uh, Lawnmower Detective, how are you doing, buddy? Well, nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Nice to see you. Simply small engines. Uh, check out your uh, DR. Check your Insta DM. He says, okay, checking out Insta's. Nice to see you, Edward Bloke. How are you doing, mate? Shout out to Mixed Mowers uh, for my sticker. It arrived this morning. Thanks, Mick. You're welcome, Edward Bloke. No, no problem at all. You're very welcome indeed. I think I'm up to date with posts. Even Tim Palmer should have got his keyring. That's been sent as well. That's how good I've been this week. 
Uh, Jard, uh, won't be long, Mick. Uh, nearly 6 a.m. Sunday morning. Oh, sorry to hear that, buddy boy. That's what it is. Um, Edward Bloke, uh, Pete Frowns in the house. Hobby Motors in the house. Looks sweet, sir, Mick. Yeah, it does, eh? It does. Uh, David Young, how you doing, buddy? Well, not having you for a little while. Hope you're doing well. Lorma Detective saying, very nice cupcake. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, hi, Mick, and everyone in the chat. Just dropping in to say hi. Not in tonight. Having a drink with my friend. Cool. Nice to see you, Tim. Uh, oh, and whilst I got uh, got the Kieran, you did get the Kieran call. That's fine, buddy. I did send it out. Stephen Gribble, uh, Toro Videos, Hang Mirorski, Gravely Man. How you doing, buddy? Boys? watching one of your videos the other day, actually. Gravely Man. Nice to see you. Uh, Jason, a uh, toolbox looks great, Mick. Yeah, cheers, buddy boy. Uh, the luxury of a large toolbox in a workshop. Yeah, Dick, you, I don't think you could fit that in your tool, in your shed, actually, Dick. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to take the Mickey, but I don't think you could. It's what it is, right? You, but, Dick, you're making your space work, mate. That's what it's all about. I have a McCulloch with that engine um, on, which helped me out a bunch. Cool, fantastic. Uh, Jason Shoes, uh, your chat, your chat, Edward Bloke, uh, Tinker and Taylor Nev, simply can check your mail, apparently. Uh, Tommy's in the house. Hello. Hope all is doing good. All is doing fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. I've got seven in the house. Give some thumbs up, please, people. Be much appreciated. Uh, Bill's in the house. How are you doing, Bill? Nice to see you, mate. Hope you're doing well. Nice to see you. To see you nicely. Um, I torn sticker into... I turn stickers into magnets. Last a lot longer. Good idea. Yes, good idea. Uh, DNR Small Engines. How are you doing, DNR? Nice to see you, mate. Thanks for popping in. Love the new toolbox, uh, the dog's dangly bits. Exactly that, the dog's dangly bits. It is. I, I am liking it. However, the only issue I've got with it is the two bottom drawers are quite deep well. They're over, they're over 60 mil deep, which is great, but I would like to um, shadow foam them. Um, so I need to get some thicker shadow foam so I can put stuff in them. But I'll, I'll, I'll get around it. I'll get around it. I might have to double pack it, you know, which would be expensive, but uh, it'll just be easier for me. Uh, what's that? Uh, someone put uh, uh, too many emojis. Uh, hello. Good people. Nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, keep your emojis down. You were probably timed out. Yeah, that's what happens. Um, no more than two emojis. I've always get timed out. It happens. Oh, three emojis, sorry. Yep, yeah, you're on top. Yeah, I see that. Dazza84, how you doing, mate? You knows, you knows bro, Eden. You knows bro, I think. I think I sent something to you, bud. I think. I think. I might be wrong. Blind TV, how you doing, Blind? Haven't seen you for a little while. Cross, you must have been about another four years older. How you doing well, bruv? Nice to see you. Hi, everyone. Uh, anyone works on Rover Mo's already answered that question. Gravely Man, Edward Bloke. Who else we got here? Uh, Gary Baker. Hello, Mick. Uh, Suffolk here. Yours is, uh, I think yours was um, posted as well. Suffolk, yours is on its way. You all chatted. Hello, uh, Rover Mowers over here. Yes, uh, Wild Rovers. Yeah, Wild Rovers. Yeah, Wild Rovers. No more. Yeah, no, no, no. It's a good song. Jason Shoes, Paul E. Um, Gary Rogers. Hey, oh, that jumped. Sorry, Gary. That jumped us. I got your name. It jumped. Where did you get to? Where did you get to, Gary Rogers? Don't know. I lost you. No idea. Did I lose you? I lost you somewhere in the chat. Yeah, I've lost you. Blind TV. I think. Uh, let's try about here somewhere. I'll try here. I, I did. I did. I did. It jumped. Gary Rogers. There you go. Uh, Rover mowers are good. Yeah, I have seen them before. Um, well, Mick, uh, we haven't hit the lottery yet. No, nah, bruv, not yet. We're working on it. Eh? We're working on it. Uh, RL, RJL, how do you doing, Nice to see you. Thanks for popping on in. Nice to see you. Cheeky. Exactly that. I'm live on radio, 7 p.m. says Sparky, but you're but on my mobile. Okay, cool. We've got a mobile van now, what, your little transit van or something? Uh, the Lawnmower Lady, how you doing? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in, honey. Hope you're doing well. I'm watching your videos too. Actually, just found your channel recently. Someone put me on to you, so I popped over to come and see you. Nice to see a young lady working on machines. Fantastic. Hope you're doing well. Lawnmower Detective Mick, I hope you and your family are doing well. We're doing fantastic, buddy boy. Thanks for asking. If we weren't, I would have told you. Uh, I need to find a manual for my rover. Any ideas where to find it? It can be difficult. All manuals can be hard to find. What engine or what have you have you got on there? What, or what, what's the problem with it? What are you trying to get around? I'm heading over to my mums and dads uh, to put a new set of wheels on the mower along with uh, um, along with what? A minor tune up. Thanks for the thanks for the know how, Mick. Oh, you're welcome, Len. You're welcome, my friend. Anything I do to help? If I can help, that's fantastic. Uh, Suffolk in the house, Jars. Um, have you worked on uh, a Briggs two-stroke, um, the bottom end blue? No, I haven't seen many two-stroke Briggses, to be fair. No, nope, not really. Blind TV saying hello. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. There's quite a few in the house. There's 70 in the house here. Lord Merlay saying cheers, Scotty. Do I miss Scotty? Scotty Daniels? I didn't see Scotty Daniels in here. 
Um, everyone's saying hi to the Lawn Marley. Double Y six in the house. Yo, how you doing, Bob? Nice to see you, buddy boy. Hope you and the family well. I just watched your video of the other day of your young lad helping you out. Nice to see the old young lad in the old workshop with you. Good to see. Hope you and the family are well, Bob. Nice to see you. Uh, Edward Bloke, you're all saying hello to everyone else. Everyone's just chatting away, ain't they? Uh, hi, guys. Uh, still well busy. Yeah, we're busy too over here. We're still we're busy over here too. Hi, Mick. Love the battle with the carb with the carb earlier. Yeah, it was a bad carb. That 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 carb had COVID. I'm telling you, it wasn't, it wasn't a very nice carb at all. But that's what we do, right? Carb uh, Yeah, don't, don't no no to apologise. No to apologise. I will play attention now. <laughs> That's right. It happens. The first one's in the house. It happens. The first time in the chat, you know, some some live streams you can get away with it, others you can't. Uh, Mick, you should get into the um, auction business. <laughs> He's saying I talk a lot, Bob. Is that what you're trying to say? I mix mowers. Um, I mix mowers. How do you, how do you mean? I'm not sure what that means, blind. Um, I think you're speaking American. Uh, Tinkling Taylor Nev, you're chatting. Matt Small Engine, how are you doing, Matt? Hey, Mick, did you get your toolbox done yet? Yeah, I'll show you again in a minute, mate, for those who didn't see it. The guys are just coming in. I'll show you in a minute. Jeff Maple in the house, how are you doing, Jeff? Nice to see you, buddy boy. Thanks for popping on in. I'm working now on that to come -ish. <laughs> Good luck with it. I didn't want to look at it. I don't, I don't, I don't do them. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. I hate them. Much rather give them away. But like I say to you, you know, sometimes when you get a job, a lot of mowers come in. I don't know, you someone off you like 10, 15 mowers and you get a Honda, a couple of haters, you know, a Mountfield, what have you. I mean, always throw in a couple of decumpses, you know what I mean? Just to, because they, they need to get rid of them themselves, you know what I mean? So um, that's what happened to mine. I just I just moved them on. Uh, mowers and blows in the house. Hey, doing mowers and blows. Thanks for popping on in. Nice to see you. Uh, simply small repair. Rich, check your email, apparently. Okay, no worries. Um, Lawn mower detective, Matt Small Engines. Uh, Jeff Maple again, you're chatting, you're chatting, you're chatting, you're chatting. Kenny's in the house. That's just jumped again. Sorry. Been going 22 minutes with 71 in the house. Give some thumbs up, please. You know bros. He's saying hello to Andrew. Uh, Steve Small Engines, what's up? People says Big Steve. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Lawn My Lady is great to see a female. Yeah, exactly that. Female presence, yeah. I don't know how she, I don't know how she cope on the, on the panel, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's a man's well, but sometimes it gets a bit boisterous up here. But do you know, if, if a woman can clean a car right the way she does and what have you, then she can hold her own as far as I'm concerned. How you doing, Mark? I'll see you, mate. Thanks for popping in. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, hi, Mick. When are we going to see the dentist again? <laughs> You'll see it again. It's, you know, it's, it's a project. It's not, and also the dentist is 200, 224 kilos. It's not a small lawnmower, you know. And just to get it out is a mission. And uh, last time I got it out of a top shed to move it into my vintage shed, um, it nearly killed me and it wouldn't start. I put fuel in it and it just leaked fuel everywhere. So it's not doing very well at the moment, but it'll come back. I have no fear. I've got another one too. Um, a, a bloke called Ray gave me a 30 inch Atco as well. So that's in the shed. That's it'll come out. It'll, what I'm getting through, you've got to appreciate it's mower season. So people are wanting mowers fixed, done, sold, and what have you. So I agree to get through this way first. Then we get into silly season where everyone's got a mower and everyone's trying to sell a mower for like 10 pounds. So um, once we get through that, once we get through the silly season, I, I'll get on with my projects. But yeah, it's not easy at the moment. But Dennis will be coming back though. And so will a 30 inch Atco. You've not seen that yet, but that's nice. That is. Uh, about five horsepower coming along, Steve. Yeah, I saw that video as well. Nice to see you, Steve. Thanks for popping in. Um, Bond Empire, how you doing? Bond Nossi and my friend, hope you're doing well. Nice to see you. Project man's in the house. Just showed your sticker, Gary. Thank you very much indeed, doodly. I think we're there. Bomb, we're there. If I missed anyone, I'm sorry, but it's just where the chat goes. Colin K, how you doing, buddy? We'll not see you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, 75 in the house. Let's give us some thumbs up. Be much appreciated. How are we doing on thumbs up and thumbs down on you? Have got any? I've got 50 thumbs up with 70 in the house. That ain't too bad going, is it? Can I squeeze another couple more out of you, if possible? Squeeze another couple more. I can give myself one as well. Pardon me. 52 thumbs up, no thumbs down. No lost, no lost souls at sea as of yet, but it won't be long. They'll be turning up shortly, no doubt. So that's good. So um, the rules are very, very simple. How you doing, Dirt Rider? Mike Nussier. How you doing, Jason Hughes? Boneyard Garage. How you doing, Buddy Boy Nussier, too? I hope you're doing well. Lawnmower, lady, laugh out loud. Uh, I've been accused of potty mouth more than once. <laughs> you're welcome, man. <laughs> nice to see you. Um, so if you want to come up onto the panel, I'll put the link out in the stream in a minute. And when you come up onto the panel... Um, it's the same rules apply. No foul language, no obscenities. You must be fully clothed. That includes you, Ken. Um, and if you muck about too much, then I'll just drop it down in the basement. I just, I just do not tolerate it. You know what it's like, people? It's nothing personal. I don't tolerate bad behavior. Um, if you're swearing and that sort of stuff, you're going to be dropped down. If you're going to come up onto the panel, how you doing, Rick? Nice to see you, mate. Hope you're doing well over the island. Um, if you're going to pop on, on the panel, you must be sort of, you know, trying to get uh, – 
get talking and having a chat and what have you. And uh, if you're just going to sit up here chew, chewing, chewing the fat and doing nothing, then I'm going to drop it down or push someone else, push someone else up here that wants to chat. You know, so if you're just going to sit and do nothing, then you can do it in an armchair at home and just watch the stream rather than just, just come up on the panel and uh, and saying nothing. So yeah, I want you up here. I want you talking. That'd be good. Place your bets for first on the panel. <clears throat> And apart from that, I want to show you. I just uh, someone was asking um, uh, about my uh, my toolbox. When I am I getting on with my tools? Let me just fire that photograph back up for you. <clears throat> it's loading. Oh, there you go. It's loading. Right. Let me show you then and come back to my old stream. For those, for those of you who are coming a little bit later, Benedict, that's you. Um, this is what my toolbox now looks like. My new toolbox. So there's my Allen key set, Torx bit set, mole grips. Pliers, snippers, side cutters, long nose pliers, spanner drill, uh, sockets, extension bars, uh, fuel hoses, adjustables. And I said, I've got, I've got another three or four more drawers I'm working on, but that, that was just done this week. Um, looks looks spanking, eh? I like it. Yep, I don't. Looks good, eh? So there you go. There's a toolbox. Let's get rid of that. Come back to the old chat. Uh, how are we doing? We're all chatting. Uh, pretty, yeah, it is pretty, mate. Hey, eh? yeah, it's Bruce's shop in the house. Someone said hi, Bruce's shop. Oh, what's that there? There are too many to say hi to. How are you doing, Bruce? Hope you're doing well, buddy boy. Nice to see you, my friend. 61 thumbs up, says Jeff. Cheers, Jeff. Much appreciated, mate. Uh, very posh is that, says Dick. It's a bit posh. I think Bruce, uh, <laughs> Bruce says, I love it, Mick. I think, I think Bruce has a bit of tool envy, toolbox envy at the moment, Bruce. It's what it is. I spent so many years throwing it over my shoulder, as you all know, and it was a big laugh and a joke. You know, it's what it is. I played to the crowd. Um, but uh, now I'm at a point where I've got some nice tools on, all laid out, and it's just easier to work on. However, I have noticed with my new toolbox, I think I've, I think I've overdone it on this side of the shed. Because now if I open this drawer up, it closes on its own. So I think my shed has moved. So I need to get underneath my shed and just, just jack it up about half an inch across this side. I think my shed has subsided slightly with all, all the stuff there. Uh, what's going on there? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, hi, Mark White, mate. Nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. Um, that chat was just being held because of um, the word uh, Dick, which is Dick Small Engines, uh, which is good. Um, my Wi Fi seems to be holding up at, at the moment. Connection is unstable now, it says. Cheers. Thanks for that, internet. So it's probably going to crash me out in a bit, but we'll see how we get on. What would probably happen? I'll get people up on the panel and then uh, I'll crash. I'll have to reset it and come back. That's what normally happens. For some reason, it just it just doesn't like um, seven o'clock at night. I don't know. It happens every time. Odds on favourite Ken first up on the panel. We'll see how we get on. So if it does crash out, that's what it is. Um, I'll just reset it and come back. But uh, it's been pretty good once I've reset it. But I don't know why it does it. Uh, hi, Rustic mate. Nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. So there's your link. Um, feel free to come on. As I say, you must be fully clothed. No swearing. Um, all the rest of it. And uh, if you if you don't if you don't behave yourself, you're going down. It's simple as that. I don't, you know, I don't tolerate bad behavior. I don't mind plenty of Mickey taking. That's not, uh, that's fine. Just do not make it personal. If you make it personal, then I can become personal. <clears throat> Panel was filling. Klaus, you can go, mate. You said to come, so you can go. You can get out of it. <laughs> don't give me the face, mate. Um, not to see you down there, gents. Panel is filling up, so I'll just get a couple more minutes. Yeah, here comes old grandpa. He's coming in. It's filling up. Let's get a few up here first. See how we get on. Is that it? Is that all that's coming up for now? Just four of you? Is that all we want? Right, so first up in the house, we've got Andrew from Simply Small Engines. Hey, Andrew Boyd. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Doing good, buddy boy. Doing good. Let me just turn you up a smidge. You're a little bit quiet my end. Let me turn you up. That's better. Is that better? Uh, that's better, mate. I can hear you. Yes, my end. It's my end. I had the volume turned down a smidge. That's all it was. <clears throat> hey, sorry if um, if you have to draw me down because I'm a little um quiet. You go ahead and do that. But um, it's, I just got out of the hospital yesterday, so. It's not, it's, it's not that, bruv. Some people. Okay. Some people they, they they come up on panel and they do this. Well, they get nervous. They get nervous. You know that well, sometimes well, sometimes you have some big people that people look up to on here. You're one of them. You know, you're one of the big boys. You know, but you should, and, but, but you shouldn't you you shouldn't feel intimidated when when you're being invited right? to come and play in someone's <laughs> house. And if I invite you around for a beer, I wouldn't expect you to sit there and go all shy. Do you know what I mean? So you know, if if, if I don't if, know if, if I came over, I'd probably be a little shy too. <laughs> no. Nah, you wouldn't. Give, give, have a couple of beers down there. We'd be we'd be, we'd be well oh, away. Yeah, after a few beers, yeah. Oh, there you go. So, so it's what it's about. But some people, they, I, I see it on other panels. They just sit there and say nothing. And you know, people want to come and be en be entertained, entertained. Yep. You know, so that's what it is. Um, speaking of entertainment, um, here's one bloke. He's a laugh. Hey, well, let, me, let me say one quick thing. How the heck do you? Um, I just got your um, your address. I, I got it. I got it written down. Um, it's weird. You guys have letters in your zip code. 
No, it's not weird. It's it's, it's just that in America you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just it was just weird. I'm I'm like trying to figure out. I'm like I hope I wrote this right. Yeah, if you if you write it down as as I sent it, yes, as it is, yes. So our, our postcode generally is two letters, three numbers, two letters. Yeah, as soon as I get it, I'll um, send them out all at once. Yeah, that's cool. No problem. That's fine. No problem. How are you doing, Klaus? How are you doing well? I'm doing good. Doing good. I, I watched Thank your video you. today. I did try and get get as much of it in digested in my head as I could. <laughs> it, was, it, it, it was no, it was good. Good video. For, for, you know, it's, it's very hard. I, I, I wish you you could do English ones. I know the reason why you don't. Oh, put that put that on mute. Um, I am, I am, I am. Sorry, sorry. No, no, no don't apologize. Um, it's very no, hard, no. Klaus. It's very hard for for me because I'm. I, I don't know if, I, if it's a multitasking thing, but to watch a video is one thing, but to watch it in a foreign language is quite something else. And I, mm-hmm. I, I'm severely dyslexic, you know. So if I'm if I'm indoors watching a TV program with subtitles, I spend half my life trying to read the subtitles before they disappear, and I miss half a TV program. You know, yeah. so uh, it's very difficult, but I, I do I do enjoy your video. It's very high quality. Um, yeah, I just Thank wish you, you Thank just you. wish you in English. That's all. That's all, that's I, all was thinking, I was thinking about making a second channel where I just take all my videos and voice over them in Spanish for the you Spanish could, audience because I have a lot of well, people saying, "Hey, I wish they were in Spanish." It's it's an idea. Maybe maybe Klaus, that's something you could you you could think about. It'd be a lot of work, right? It'd be a lot of work. But well, just I, I look, just, I, I, I'm looking to it already, and and it is uh, it is um, it's too much work. I mean, even doing the subtitles, uh, since the auto translate doesn't work from Danish to English, yeah, it's it, it it'll take me three hours for every half hour, two every hour, three hours for every hour of video, and that that's not it's just not feasible for me. Are most yeah. of your viewish Danish speakers? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's difficult. It doesn't um, Donny Boy, he does, he has a Canadian and a French channel too, doesn't he? Yes. Yes, he does. But I mean, but, from, from but, English, so auto, does, translate, auto translate from English will do almost anything. But uh, the other way around, it's a little difficult. Yeah. Can't, 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 you move, can't you move to Germany and see if it does it, see if it works in Germany? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we need to get him like we need to get him like thirty thousand um, English subscribers, and um, then he'll be forced to do English. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I, I only come across Hobby Motor probably about tail end of eight months ago, something like that. I, I do watch your videos, but as I say, you know, it's, it's just difficult. But but then saying that, hey, I have to watch you know Steve Small Engines who speaks Canadian all the time. Me and Bruce, I'm, uh, <laughs> it's, it's the same language barrier, right? It's the same language barrier. <laughs> Uh, I, mean, I, I need to send Steve an email to give him some stickers. I'm only playing. Um, who's that got down here? Um, we've got Ken. How are you doing, Ken? Hey, Ken. Good afternoon. Ken, have you been taking photographs of my bottom? I'm telling you. I'm not going to show it, but yes. You are you, you, you are. you are now aware that the new community guidelines came out of taking photographs on people's videos is now it's against the guidelines, right? I'll, I'll put that in court. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, no, it's their faces. It's not their asses. You're okay. Same, same difference. <laughs> Mate, it's what it is, right? I'm, I'm, sat, I'm sat in my comfy stool, working on a machine. I'm bending over, sitting down. Eventually, you're going to show a bit of bum porn. That's what happens. You know, it's, it's just... It's just, it's just remember, Mick, crack kills. Crack kills. Exactly. Everyone, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, what, no, it's what it is. Say no to crack. <laughs> it's what it is. Um, who I got sent down Mick a picture, though. I zoomed in. I sent Mick a picture with another email, and I said, is this like the what is it, the next quiz? You can you, you can you knew exactly what it is. Uh, who we got down there? We've also got Grandpa in the house. How are you doing, Grandpa? Nice to see you. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing all right, How are you doing? Are you all doing well? Hey, Steve, you need to check your email, please. Well, I, I mean, not. I mean, Ken. Ken, check your email when you get a chance. I need your address again to send you some stickers. Okay. Okay, my basement is now empty, apart from apart from these four. Uh, but so Can feel free welcome. to hit, hit that link and come on up. Let me see how we get on. So, what sort of week you had, Ken? Except for this picture, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. The funny thing is, the funny thing is, is that you still have that picture on your phone. Well, I'll just tell so, someone it's a lady. I'll say so, it's, it's, so, a, it's a it's an overweight lady that I know. That's all. So, 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 what does it tell you when you're going to set that as your screensaver? What's it tell you? Screensaver. Uh, Hell yeah. 
<laughs> I reckon. I reckon. I reckon you have that on your on your on your flat screen TV. You know, today though, funny. You know, people are asking me. You know, Kenny, you do a lot of tips and tricks and stuff like that. When are we going to have a full blown doing something? So today, I actually tuned up a Husqvarna uh, V twin mower, all that stuff, and it was probably close to an hour. But you know what? If that's what the people want, I'll do it. So I'm gonna, I'll send it out there and see what the people say. Yeah, yeah, I hear. Yo, there he is. There, there he is, Bruce. Oh, Bruce, man, you look hey, tired, Bruce. bud. Hey. Bruce, you look tired, buddy boy. You okay? You look tired. Oh, yeah. Why am I fa failing out here? There we go. Bruce, how's dad? Friend. How's dad doing, Bruce? Not bad. Good. Yeah, he's uh, he, he's he's taking advice and uh, moving a little slower these days. Uh, I, when I logged in, I, 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 it made me log in as Bruce's number 39 shop. I don't know. Oh, hang on. Got that noise. Come on, man. Is that you, Lawnmower Detective? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to mute you, Dave. Hey, You're a bit of noise. Definitely not kids running noise. around in my house. Poor bit Dave. Of noise. Me, Dave. Bit of noise. Uh, who's that down there? The lawnmower, somebody. Lawnmower. The lawnmower. Hey, 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 hey. Is, what are you doing uh, yeah. up here, girl? <laughs> Her name's not Shorty. She's Her the lawnmower. Her name's not Shorty. It's yeah. Stella. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know, oh, she's oh, gone. Oh, <laughs> oh. That wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> you sure, Mick? You have a habit. You're like, no, it no, lady. It, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Was that the trigger finger there? It, no, it wasn't me. No, it definitely was not me. Uh, oh, Stella, I, love, I love her intros. I love her intros. Every oh, yeah. time she's wearing a different shirt. It's nice to see, uh, as you say, uh, not 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 that you know, not, not that it shouldn't be the way, but it's nice to see female female ladies up there, you know, do, doing a bit too. It's it's good to see. I like I like that, you know. You used to be. Yeah. A, you used to, I, I you caught to... her. I caught her a while ago, and I told Phil about her and stuff. And um, I just I haven't seen female. On, I know they do it, but not on YouTube. There used to be a a, a young lady on Instagram. I've forgotten the name of her channel, but she's she's working a shop. She was good too. She was really good. Yeah, she, There's a back. lot of female hey, car mechanics. Welcome back. Hey, back. Hey, Stella. How you hey, doing? Hey, you good, go. good. I'm, I have some internet problems in my shop sometimes. So how uh, is everybody got, today? We all great. We're good. doing good. We're doing great. Away. Internet problems is a standard thing on my stream. If you've got internet problems, you're welcome. It's as simple as that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so um, I don't know whether you whether you whether you're aware, but obviously it's your first time up on my stream, so you must be fully clothed at all times. Bruce, behave yourself. Um, no swearing <laughs> and uh, no, no, no no sanities. But if you don't know many people on here, we've got a uh, big Bruce, Bruce, um, Bruce's shop is Bruce. Nice to see you, Brucey boy. We've got the lawnmower detective also up here. He's got a mixed mower's t-shirt on. Very nice to see. We've also got myself. You've got um, simply small engines. He's in the house. This simply. Uh, hey, hobby Andrew. motor in the house. Hobby motor hey. in the house. There's hobby motor. Um, Ken Small Engines in the house too. There's Ken. Hey Ken. Hello Ken. Hey Stella. And we've also got we've also got um Grandpa. There he is, Henry. There's Grandpa Henry. There he is. Hi Hank. How, how you doing? Got I'm quite a few. And we've got Mr. Briggs as well. So it's cool. So we've got yeah, we've got a nice little panel. And and for once, for once we have we have a young lady up on panel, which means now we're all going to behave naturally anyway. So that's a terrible <laughs> thing, right? It's a terrible thing. <laughs> But uh, I don't mind. But I'll bite my bottom lip for as much as I can. So, so you, what? What name do you go by? I mean, is it Shorty or is it um, Lawnmower Lady or what is it? Uh, Shorty, oh, sorry, wrong side. Was actually my grandfather. Uh, he was a mechanic. Well, <laughs> not me. I guess, not me. I guess uh, internet in the Carolinas isn't. I was going to ask her where she gets all the different shirts from with the different names. Well, you go to the laundromat, and when people aren't looking, Andrew, you just grab one, man. Right. Hey, there must be a famous laundromat. Hang on one second. We got to put this out. I got a special guest to bring up. It's not a spider. Don't worry. So, Bruce, I caught, I caught your snake. video today, Bruce. I see you. I see you. Um, drilling out quantum jets too far. Oh yeah. Uh, it so, been, yeah, I've never done that before. It was so. It was well, full of I do, Bruce. I stuff, and I went for it. <laughs> you say hi. What? Hey, hey. Well, hi, Tedla. How you doing? Nice to see you. Uh, you're back. Uh, sure. She's back. If so what, what look... I do, Bruce, is this. Oh, I've got like this. You got to hold the tool. This little um, this little thumb drill. This is what I use. Little tiny thumb drill. That one there. Yeah. 
and that and that is my to come quantum thumb drill and That's, it's, um... it's, it's it's my go-to so i actually had a quantum on a five horsepower quantum <laughs> up, on the, up, up on the bench today um it's, it's been in my shack for about four months i suppose what size man is that four mil what size three mil four mil look, look look i'm not as old as you can do you think i'm gonna see that my lord yeah. brother it is written on there. Uh, I don't know. I, can't, I, I don't. Even, I don't even know. This is how bad my eyes are. If that's upside down, around the right way, I couldn't tell you. Where's your caliper? Get your caliper. Don't but, hit me with the caliper. But if you, if you buy uh, the uh, the thumbnail packs, you know the thumbnail. Yeah, they packs? sell them here at Harbor Freight. They call them micro drill. Okay, it's the orange one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the size. It's orange. <laughs> Yeah, I have. Uh, I, I, I mean, make. I, I like. I have those too, but I, I keep breaking them. I do too. I, I, I've yeah. got two sets. Yeah. Just, well, the, my two the three of them that are important. You snap yeah. those right away because they're carbide. <laughs> they're very brittle because so, they're carbide. So, so what I do is, I, I, I have snapped one or two myself, and and it's a pain in the bum. But what what I found is that the best thing to do is just to you know treat it like a lady. I know. And just, I I went just, for it. Just, no, no, no. If, if if you go for it, you've had it, Bruce. You got. Just, I know. <laughs> um, so what I have found is it will actually, it will actually start to start to bite, and then it will drill in, but it won't, it won't, it won't drill and become loose. So you have to drill it in so it goes all the way in first. Don't try and pull it out, and then you you back it off about half a turn, and then go, um, and then and then go again, and eventually it will okay. it will go through. Um, yeah. And literally, um, I was on the phone to Pete today, and I drilled it out. In, I did a Brucey special. Left the carb on the machine, um, and uh, took took the nut out. It took me two minutes. Drilled it, put it back on, and away it went. Doesn't miss a beat. Mick, Mick they actually work pretty good in a Dremel too. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think they'd take it. Can be honest. Mine, mine has a one eighth shank, so it fits in the Dremel. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't, sorry, I don't. I don't think. I don't, not saying it won't take it. What I'm saying is, you put it in the Dremel, no problem. But then, when you go to offer that in, into the into the uh, into yes. the jet, in it, it, it's just going to snap. It. Yeah, yeah I just throw it a little lightly. Just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. the stuff the stuff that was in the top hole of that bolt was so hard, the calcium or whatever leftover goo was in there had hardened off this lawnmower set for ten years. Yeah, I have a set of those too. Yeah. The, the, and, the, uh, the, 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 I, broke, the, I broke a few of them. Sure, yeah. You got to have three or four sets of them. I, 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 I prefer these. I, I prefer these, I do these little thumb drills. I like yeah. the one that um that comes. They come in a stand. Come in a stand. Yeah, the one that come. comes in a circular stand. Yep, really. yep yeah. exactly. Yeah. Ken. That's the Terrell, one. Carol like. has those on his chair. Mine, yeah, so, you know, mine's 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 I've been around on YouTube now for so long that this, you know, jetting carburetors kind of started about four or five years ago, and uh, now all of us backyard small engine mechanics are jetting carburetors. I think fantastic? it started with the Predators. Once people started building those Predators, yeah. and stuff, that's when they really started doing it. You know, I'm, really, I'm really starting to hate Honda and Predator carburetors. I, if I'm having a problem, it'll be on a Honda carburetor. Yeah, I hear you, Bruce. You know, if I'm being honest, what I use those drill bits for, I don't really jet them out. I use them to clean because I, I've tried using a sewing needle, but they're not small enough to get through those brass jets. So I actually just use those really to bust out the stuff that's oh, so yeah. crammed up in there that you can't eat. even use an air compressor won't blow it out. So I just use it to pop it through. I use I a, I use a I chunk think, off of a wire brush on a drill. Yeah, on your, on your I tried the pitch, pilot pitch yeah. Yeah. Or wire brush. Yeah, I think the problem yeah. with the problem with the with the decumps and with the quantum jet is that obviously to you even use tip cleaners, you can't get enough of a tip cleaner in where the actual yeah. file bit is before it, before it bottoms out. That's a problem, yeah. isn't it? So I don't know whether oh, yeah. or not, you, um, or you snap it, off the drill bit into the thing, and you'll uh, never get it out. <laughs> yeah, is it me or is the uh, the idle? Agree, jet Henry? Uh, this is what I was talking about. I really like these ones. <coughs> right. These ones are, uh, is it I is it me or, or is the idle jet on Hondas? Is that sort exactly of a, hard, a, hard, a harder material or? It seems uh, that just, way. Close. Just even though it looks brass, it does seem like it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. I broke one off last week on a Honda. Idle jet or lonking, whatever. But uh, Mr. Briggs is burning it to cumish because he hates him so much. Yeah, good probably idea. Probably a harder bronze, uh, but yeah, probably. You know, yeah. I don't know, you guys. 
I had I've had two Takamishes come in this week and they both sat for I'm okay, everything I'm getting in right now is sat for five years. I'll be right back. My son needs juice. Right on. So the fella who bought a lawnmower off me today, he says it's dead. Why is it dead? Why is it dead? I, bought, I sold a lorma. It was a Tecumseh, to be fair, and spares or repair as is. Didn't even touch it. So why is it dead? What, what, what you what, what you not got? Have you got spark? Have you got have you got compression? What's going on? Uh, Mr. What was Briggs it? A part of what, what was it? Yeah, I, I had it here. I had it in here. I got it as part of a job lot. I had it in here for about two, three months, and. Um, it come as part of a job lot. You know what job lots are like, right? You get like a Honda, yeah. you get a Hater, you get an MTD. What was it, Mick? The Eager One, the older one type, like an Eager One, that kind of thing? No, no, it wasn't the old one. No, it was about 19, 1990s, I think, or something like that, 80, yeah. something like that. It wasn't that old. Um, but they always throw in a couple of decumpsies, don't they, as part of a job lot, and you got you got to buy them, right? <laughs> Thank God. Uh, no. And uh, so I, I've had two. Um <laughs> I had two of them, and I, I, I just now, if if the people will not, will not, um, the carburetor is too rusted inside. Yeah, you can get another carburetor from mate. You can get carbies for them. It's not dead. It's, if, if a carb is no good, then a, you can just get another carb. In fact, just ask Bruce. Bruce has got, in fact, Bruce has probably got the main old new stock, old store. Yes, sir. Uh, I think Henry has more. Henry has more. You see, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's why there's a problem in the UK is because these guys in America and Canada and Canada, 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 Canada <laughs> are um are stockpiling because they're hoarders. They're stockpiling all this old stuff. Honestly, so. honestly Mick, I think it's because we get the Italian Tecumseh's, which yeah. are, are crappy crap crap. Oh, it's shocking. Shocking. I, yeah. I, I absolutely hate but, them. But the, um, but the American ones, we do get those here. I see them from time to time. It's a different beast. Uh, oh, well, without a doubt. Without a doubt. I mean, I, I've had one. I had one come a little while ago. And to be fair, it come as part of a job lot. And all I've done, I put petrol in it. I pumped it. It says it says on the side, pump three times. So I pumped it 40 times. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and, 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 and do you know what? It fired straight on up. Absolutely yeah. nothing yeah. wrong with it. In fact, I don't even know why it was part of that job lot in the first place. No. Um, and, and that, that machine has, has, since, has since sold on. I did nothing to it. But you know what I'm like with the companies? I just... You like my just, sign? Just to get the carburetor off, you've got to take the exhaust off. You've got to take all the air, all the air gut. You've got to take off 35 things, right? And they make it even worse. You've got to have uh, an 8 mil. You've got to have uh, a half inch. You've got to have a, a Phillips screwdriver. You know, you've got to have patience of a saint. I ain't doing it. And then, <laughs> and then even after you do all it. that, even after you do all that, I call it Satan's nipple, that little primer bulb. I hate those things. No, no, no. I'll tell you what's worse. I'll tell you what is my bugbear. Oh my, my bug my bugbear with any decumpsy, right? Is when you slide your little tiny eight mil with a um with an extension bar through the exhaust manifold cowling cover to undo those two manifold bolts. When you retract it, your eight mil always falls off. Yep. And you have to go hunting for it. Or it sticks yep. on the nut. That's it, I, 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 I was thinking the the uh, a regular lawnmower to come see in, in, in the States and Canada. How many cc is that? Say again. Uh, the, the, uh, the regular push mower to come see engine in the States and Canada. How many cc's is it? I think it it's like about five to, five to seven horsepower. No, but yeah, I, know, I, know, I know the horsepower, Andrew. I was asking 163. for 163. 163. 163. I, I, I generally find that most of the decumpses I get over here have lost a couple of horses. In fact, they've only got a couple of ponies in them left. You know what I mean? <laughs> how, do you, how do you guys, um, what's, the, what's the metric on figuring out from horsepower to CC or CC to horsepower? You can't. It's got something to do with uh, RPMs. Yeah, there's a general rule. If you look it up, Andrew, there's a general whoa, rule. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. The, the only general rule is if you pull the cord and it don't start, it ain't running. And, uh, do you know what I mean? I'm not worried about horsepower. It's got to start, damn it. If it's not starting, it's going. End of. I just, you know, hey, I've been doing this. I, I don't know. I just say, hey, it's a 212 or a 6.8. Bruce, you're muted nobody, if you're trying to talk. No, 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 nobody tell Bruce he's muted. It's been hilarious. Oh, Let him sorry, it, it, too late, Bruce would have carried on for hours like that. Yeah, he was on mute. <laughs> it again, Bruce. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, I just didn't know if there was a way to say, hey, okay, because you know, like when you buy a Predator, they're 212, which is 212 CC, but if you buy Seven. a Honda, they're horsepower. Yeah. yeah. A 196 is five and a half. And a... Yeah, 212 yeah. is a six and a half. Yeah. 
Okay. That's, you like know, Mick says, that. As long as they're running, you got her made. Exactly that. <laughs> Phil Small Engine Look. says, um, we'll take your decumpsies if you take our pull and pro chainsaws. Yeah, I hear that there, bar of poo too. But, no kidding. Uh, but, but I did see Ken. Ken, you did a video on some pull on um, chainsaws a while ago. Uh, wasn't worth putting into the shop to um to get spare parts for, but you had you had a donor machine there which you could rob parts off, right? So it's, it's oh, worth yeah. doing in, in yeah. that in that respect. It's worth doing. Usually the people don't want to spend the money because most of the time on the pool lines, especially, it's the seal that gets pushed over the bearing, and then you got to goop it to seal it. That gets an air leak, and it'll never start. I have. Sorry. Oh, sorry. When, no, did happen, oh. when did the day happen? When did the day happen when Land Pro? stopped being a Husqvarna, a poor man's Husqvarna. Because like 10 years ago or 15 years ago, <clears throat> bolt for bolt, the poo land was a husky. No, it's... the smaller ones that have clamshells, they're oh. huskies. Okay. The, they're, I'm sorry, they're poolons. The one, the huskies that are clamshells are poolons. The ones that have a removable cylinder are huskies. Okay. Who's I, have, I have two Poland videos coming out next week. Good for you. Um, my mate says he got the best saw ever. Mick, I also have a mount fill two years old with no compression. Yeah, I ain't gonna that. good either, bro. Valves. <laughs> Could be valves. If it's overhead cam, it'll be valve. I gotta go get some water. I'll be back. What about what about um McCulloch chainsaws? What are your guys' thoughts on those? The mini Mac is probably the best saw made known to man. <laughs> I totally disagree. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Y'all just some yellow haters. Well, oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Did someone say McCulloch was the best? So, are you kidding me? Yes. My God, I had to come back. I heard that. I was walking. I ran yellow back. haters. I had one. I took it out to the rifle. I took it out to the rifle range. Say again, Ken. I was, can you dismiss him for about three hours? That That's a sin. That's like saying to come to 27 times. Stop, there you stop, go. Stop, right. stop. Now we're good. Now, we're good. All right, now I can go get my water. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, you're back. You're in the bottom now, though. Yeah, now I'm, I'm down here. My way up. I love Mountfield. I love Mountfield. Mountfield? Yeah. They're the okay. If I said I love Tecumseh, I'd end up back down there. <laughs> do, 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 do you know what? Hang on, two seconds. You got, you got, you're not getting away with that, Bruce. Um, <laughs> no! <laughs> Ron Moore Lady's back. What about you, Ron Moore Lady? Do you like to yeah. come see? Careful. <laughs> He's like, no, no comment right at this moment. Say, say, say it again, Bruce. She didn't hear. I don't think she heard you. I think she did. Don't think she did. She waved. I, I don't. I don't understand why everyone hates Tecumseh. Go on, oh. no, not having that. No, 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 not that. <laughs> no, I don't understand why everyone don't hates Tecumseh. Go on, right. can't have that either. No, can't do it. You're going to continue. We it's not happening on this show. It can't, it can't happen. Uh, well, I don't have a word on my show. You know, they're all fixable, and they all oh, take time and patience. Help. Bruce, Bruce, look, I, I, I should show you, Bruce, look, you say they're all fixable. I've got a comment here, oh. which, tell, which tells me it ain't. Okay. <laughs> I read it on I, the internet. They read it on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> it's what it is, you know, but, but like, like I've always said, right, with the old Decumps, um, over here in the UK, um, the parts are just really hard to get. An, an emulsion tube we can get from the states. We can get them from the states, but it's going to cost us, you know, sixteen dollars plus shipping to get it over here. But that, that, that's the issue, you know. So unless you have a donor machine of which you of which you can, you know, um, take parts off, the parts are just too hard to get, man. Yep. And the, and they all there's like four or five different emulsion tubes. Exactly. The pink that. ones, the purple ones, the green red. ones, the yellow ones, the red ones. Yeah. I don't yeah. yeah. But, but, but there's, there's, there's right only here. two there's only two bowls. There's only two flow uh carburetor flow bowls. Right, right. So you know. But Mick, have you ever tried uh, putting on a new carburetor on a European Tecumseh? I would not buy a brand new Tecumseh carburetor if my life <laughs> depended on it. No. But the thing is, it will not work. It's like, I think, and that's why I was asking for the CCs earlier, because I, I think the American ones, they they, they, they simply run richer. They they, uh, they won't work on an Italian-made Tecumseh. 
Did they quit making the Italian made the Cup season two thousand eight as well? No, no, well, there was it wasn't that Bruce. The Italian <laughs> gave up. <laughs> <laughs> they can fix anything. <laughs> Well, don't laugh. I got my start doing Vespas and Lambrettas, so I get All it. All right. Oh, no, okay. No, no, now you're talking, you know, but, but you know, but, you know, but they are sought after the, the, uh, the uh, right. Lambrettas and what have you. you know, they are sought after. They still don't run very well. Um, no. uh, over, uh, over, over here in the UK, we have what's called the mods, I expect you, you're, you're oh. familiar with, um, the, the, the old scooters. And right. They, they spend half their time traveling from Bournemouth to Brighton, Brighton to Bournemouth, and they spend a good four hours of their day in a lay-by with a with a screwdriver and a pair of pliers trying to trying to reattach their elastic band because it snapped. Um, you know, so it's it's what it is. Um, I think I think we're all we're all just you know we're all trying to find if if you could get a job lot of mowers and you could pick what you wanted out of there. I don't think any of us really, ha honestly, hand on heart, come on, people. If you could, ha if someone said there's ten mowers there. Pick your pick your best five. Are you telling me you would pick Bruce at Decumpsy Lorma if there were Briggs, Quantums, non priming, of course, ch uh, manual chokers, you know, Hondas? Would you pick a Decumps? I would now. Lately, I've been so frustrated with a Honda, I would pick a Decumpsy over a Honda. No. <laughs> I'm so yeah, wow. and those little, I'm blowers, those carburetors blowers, yes. and those little jet, low speed jets plugging off uh, that I. I I, I'm sick of them. I'm just getting sick of Honda carburetors. Are they clone? Are they clone carburetors, Bruce? Or probably. Or yeah, they're probably clone. Because they. I'm, suck. I'm just I mean, sick of the eight <laughs> gaskets that go on <laughs> the <laughs> Honda you use, carburetor. Have you tried? Have you tried using the the uh, dowel trick where you can stack? Oh them yeah, up no. I just I I I have a puller uh, that I have for one of the scooters I have. It's got these oh, yeah. big long like uh, I guess they're eight mil. Uh, eight millimeters, yeah. so I just screw those in, it's and at least I can yeah. stack it up. And then you got yeah, to hold yeah. your tongue just right. Yeah, one out, get the tight one in, and tighten up half. It's, you got it's it. Not, <laughs> it's not. So, it's not so much the. It's not so much the gasket, insulation block, heat shield, gasket, carburetor, gasket, metal gasket. <laughs> but, but that's not the issue for me. The issue is, is when you got it all on there, you then got to have fingers like an Oompa Loompa to get the crankcase breather pipe on round the back. Yeah, that's the thing right. I can't get. And the choke lever on the right side with that yes. little wax pin that still works. Yes. Tiny, <laughs> tiny boneless hands. That's what yeah. I have. I'm I got a video get, I'm on that, Bruce. I'm just starting to hate yeah. Hondas, you guys. I'm just starting to hate. I got a video on that, Bruce. Thermal wax choke coming out soon. So, since lawnmower lady's quite of new to our community, we need to send her some stickers. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I ordered my business cards there yeah, two days ago. No yeah. way. Right. But Dude. I'm too cheap to spend $4 <laughs> each on the stickers. Oh. I got the business cards coming, but I'm too cheap to buy these stickers. So I sent Lawnmower Lady an email, so I'm going to send her a sticker. We need to send her some stickers. Awesome. Okay. So I'll, I'll awesome. send some you tape, can... and you can put my Bruce, business yeah, double card stick on tape, those. Bruce, then you'll have a sticker. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Howard has some stickers too. So put his put your email up so she can send you an email. Oh. Oh, by the way, I got your Mix sticks. Mowers O one at Gmail. All right, I'll uh -oh. let me write that one down. <laughs> Why is it upside you should, down? You should have an email um, from me in your email, and so does Ken because I lost Ken's address, so I need him to resend it to me. And it says one for you and one for Kimberly. Isn't that Party right? Town, USA. <laughs> oh, that's where you can live. It must be believe, nice. Yeah, I can't believe Bruce has actually said he's sick and tired of working on a Honda. So I can't. Yeah, Bruce, I I, I, it, Bruce not. it hit me this week. Yeah. Well, if, if, they're if they're clones, I fu I fully agree. They. Can well, I mean, I, I had a I had a Honda HRX four seven six, which you guys won't see over there in the states or in Canada, um, which is um a belt a belt driven gearbox. Chain driven there rear roller <laughs> setup. Okay, so so wow, it, a the, yeah, no, it is the the metal roller is powered off of the the blade boss on a belt to a gearbox transferred from a gearbox to a metal cog to a chain to the roller. It's a it's a complex system, right? But when it's working, a really good system. Um, a bloke, um, I service his machine nearly every year. He's a commercial guy. Um, and uh, last time it was in just for a service, doesn't include a tune-up, just a, a general service. Um, I said the carburetor could do 
with a little bit of loving. It's just sounding like it's not picking up like it should. It's not mm-hmm. topping out like it should. It needs a tune up. Anyway, he ignored me. And um, he came back about three months ago saying his lawnmower was really underpowered. It would barely put the rotor clutch in. Um, it wouldn't idle or anything like that. So I said, okay, so it, it, it's a carburetor, as I said to you three months ago. So he, he bought it in. <laughs> car be off. Genuine carburetor. Um, manually cleaned it. Rim the jet out. Put it back on. No difference at all. Nothing. So I'm, I'm thinking governor. Valves could be. So I thought I'll stick with a carburetor. I put the carburetor through the cleaner. Um, came back out. It ran a bit better. Not a lot. So in the end, I diagnosed it. It, it needs a new carby. It's as simple as that. New carburetor. You, you can't you can't save all carburetors. It's, it's just the way it goes sometimes. So um, I said to him, uh, two choices: uh, genuine OEM Honda carburetor, seventy nine pounds ninety nine pence, eighty pounds they are for genuine carby. So what's wow. that? That's about that's about ninety ninety five dollars, something like that. That's yeah, yeah that's three, a change. Canadian. Yes, pricing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Or, or I can get you one from Wuhan. It'd be here in about a week and a half for yeah. nineteen ninety nine. And 20, he went cool. twenty bucks. Yeah, he, he went. He went for the Wuhan version, um, which actually I got from Amazon in the end. Uh, and that come with um, a copy carburetor, a pre filter, a filter, two, two, two spark plugs. Check these babies out. Okay, if you want, if you want high torch. quality. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, BPR five ES. Guaranteed window breakers. <laughs> Throw them yeah. out, Mick. Throw them so out. So be, be wary. The F seven is, is a you know what? Hang on, hang on. The F seven TC is what plug? My favorite. Oh. Torch. Yeah. So now be wary because torch, e- 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 even torch. And now, so disgusted with their own plug, they no longer write torch on them. They now hide it under code F7. There's five different names for the torch plug now. Yeah. So anyway, it comes with two plugs, two plugs, a pre-filter, a plastic filter, a carburetor, an air box, and um, a spare and tickets a, and tickets a, to dinner. Yeah, a spare piece of fuel hose and a fuel tap for nineteen ninety nine. Right. And if you act now, you can get free steak knives. But, but you and know, then you wonder why they sent you two plugs. <laughs> yeah, but then, but then, hey, so that you, one of them might work. Do, yeah, but but you know, hey ho, I put that, I put that cheap Chinese carb on there. Away it went, good as gold. You know, I've had good luck with them. I yeah, yeah. You guys I, remember, uh, just like Roy, Roy the boy, he swears by him. Yeah, remember those uh, crazy compressors that sat on my floor for yep. nine months last year? The, yeah, they were cool. They had they had they had genuine Honda engines on them, and it wasn't problem with the Honda, but now the guy who owns them let him sit over the winter and he brought the carbs back to he's he, he, he can he can wrench a little bit but one floods and one stars oh gee yeah. if he'd have just turned the gas off and run him out of fuel it'd be okay eh? yeah. yeah it happens yeah. i know well they're return I, customers they're the best they are the yeah. best <laughs> yeah yeah i actually so didn't straight. bring the machines and they're not going to sit on my floor for six no <laughs> right as long as I, it's actually, not a I, re- ball, I replaced a um, a, for, a Briggs four fifty E plastic carburetor oh, yeah, yeah. with a Wuhan model uh, yesterday. Yeah. How does it work out? It runs sweet. Good. No problems whatsoever. Well, it's probably made by the same guy that makes <laughs> the ones for Briggs on a, on a Tuesday instead of a Friday. Yeah, right. I mean, right. if you look at when, when, when you off. when you compare them. Right. You can't. You cannot tell the difference. Sometimes it's, you can on the on the Honda clones. Uh, right. Yeah, you, can the, tell you can on the Briggs classic clones. They're they're a yeah. POS, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, did we lose you there? Apparently, um, Dick says a, a box of ten torch plugs, RJ nine LM plugs, approximately eleven pound. A box of the NGK equivalent, thirteen pound seventy. Yes, but I think those NGK oh, oh, come right. from Brazil. I like I like NGK and Champion. As you see, I got an NGK spark plug. Two of them, two signs for NGK. NGK, NGK are fine. You know, you know, no, no problem at all. I like I like the little tiny new Briggs and Stratton Champion um, overhead mount. Yeah. The small plugs, they're, they're nicely. I've, you know, they spark really well. Do you guys like the E3s? No, no I, I think no. there's just too much hoo ha on an E3. Snake oil. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. As yeah. long as it's not spider oil. They work. 
they work, but I think yeah. It's, I mean, the, if you the, run twenty to one compression and nitro, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I think that, that that's for heat in front of the electrode. Is that all of that metal is? Yeah, they're saying the heat. flame front. Ooh, yeah. let's take a thermodynamics class. <laughs> but if I've got one in, you know, I have. I to be honest with you, Ken, I have not had one fail. No, but I mean, I have a whole jar with about thirty of them in there for when that was the people's like last try. To get their motor to run. Oh, yeah. I'll spend seven dollars on one of these fancy plugs. If I can find an old RJ uh, Champion RJ nineteen LM, the old yeah. ones, the heavy, heavy, heavy. Yeah, man, I clean them up. Well, the old J nineteen LM before the resistor. Oh yeah, well the the resistor ones were way more common in Canada because we oh, really? a lot of our communications radio? are on radio, yeah. yep. like the the big communications, not the radio that you listen to music on. <laughs> <laughs> so I, right? I had I had this in a this was in a um. I think this is in a, in a Honda. It came in, in a Honda. But they said it wasn't it wasn't running right. Um, this came in as part of the service, and this one had a Champion um, L eighty uh, five. Are those the uh, neon ones? Huh. I've never. That's an old plug. Yeah, yeah. And, and and to be fair, Bruce, I I looked at it in uh, in in detail. And um, funnily enough, that's the same plug that I put in my um, Ransom Marquist 1960s mower. There you go. So I don't, I don't know where he got that from, a Champion L85, uh, but that's in an overhead valve plug. Check the short one. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I wonder why I didn't want to start with a, with a short reach plug in there. It's the same as a B2LM, just, you know, just slightly bigger. Um but yeah, it might have been a military thing. You ever, you ever had a customer put a way longer um, reach plug in, and yeah. then they're wondering why it's seized? Yeah, yeah and, wow. and you and you and you always find that the end, the end, the end part of the uh, terminal was bent over onto the it element. Did, yeah, and then you're like, oh, I hope you didn't try to pull it. They're like, I tried to, I put a new plug in, pulled it, and now, um, now, now it don't work stuck. no more. Everything's yeah, bad. Like, see, see, this is what happens. This is what happens, people, when. You turn up for a live stream, and you never ever communicate with your best friend as to what you're going to be wearing on your stream. Hey everybody! <laughs> hey, Steve. Hey, 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 Mick. Hey, Steve. Hey, nice shirt, Mick. I thought you were referring to Conquer. <laughs> hey, they're 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 twinsies. Look at oh. that. Oh, this, you this has been a paid announcement. So you guys called each other before you did this, uh, right? Is that I, right? <laughs> Shorty, Shorty, he's always calling me up. What are you wearing That's... tonight? Have you got accessories to match? That's right. <laughs> Typical Canadian. Typical Canadian. Where's, your hat? Where's your hat, Nick? Where's your hat? Oh, I, I, don't, I don't have the Steve Small Engine Saloon hat. <laughs> Riley Boy has one. I don't have I it. I think James Hayes has you on speed dial, both of you. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, Steve, did you get deluged with lawnmowers over the week because of everybody's getting ready to do their gardening on a long weekend? I've had six mowers come in yesterday. <sighs> oh, no. gross. I'm when tired. somebody asks me to fix a lawnmower for them, I just say, no, thanks. No. Oh. Too busy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Uh... Well, you're a two stroke guy, though, which I respect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, do you have a holiday coming up like we do with the memorial this weekend? We have uh, the Queen's birthday or something on Monday. This, uh. this is coming up. Hmm. Yeah, Victoria Day. Right. Oh, okay. We follow the oh, Brits. Is it, yeah, and what's she going to be? She's going to be 97? No, I think oh. that Victoria was dead long ago. Oh, Lizzie. Oh, that yeah. queen. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, 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 Queen Victoria, is, yeah, she's gone. <laughs> queen, yeah, queen. Oh, we're, oh, we're talking Lizzie, right? Lizzie, yeah. Well, right. What is Lizzie? 95, isn't she? 95, 96? No, 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 yeah. yeah, something like that. The old oh. girl. You guys would yeah. know. But... Uh, she, uh, I mean, her mother just died like 10 years ago, right? Yeah, she yeah. was, I think, uh, I think she was 99 or 100. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good doctors, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got Donny Boy. We got Donny Boy's apprentice, uh, Dave Small Engine in the house. How are you doing, Dave? Oh. Is, is, he, is, he Hi, Dave. is he from Canada as well? He's, he's Canadian too, isn't he? Yeah, he comes from that Muskoka region. Down there. Man, they're all taking over on the show. What's going on? Well, it's Let's a big country. Get them on the panel. Dave, get up here, man. Same same country, uh, four, three time zones away. <laughs> it, it looks like Dave's starting to do videos without Don. 
Yeah. Good. And he's got a good yeah. little handler. Good. He does a pretty wow. good job. Hey, Ken, yeah. I just noticed, man, you're shaved up all nice and clean. What's going on there? Who? Oh, this you way my like... wife won't recognize me. I walk in, she thinks I'm a stranger. Sleeps with a different guy tonight. <laughs> I, 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 I've, got, um, I've got this going on, but I had a problem with a Matt Gass. Yeah. <laughs> Hey Steve, well, I, hey Steve, this is going on all that a, by itself. Did you have a little bit of allergies? Is it allergy season where you're at, or you got a little cold? Who's that? Yeah, Me. yeah, I've got a little bit of cold right now. Why? It, just on I your video, I, I was worried because you're like, <laughs> you were kind of sick in it. Oh, really? Just, yeah. Are you feeling better? Yeah. When you I'm listen just... to it with headphones, you can hear you're you weren't feeling too good. Real? Yeah. See, I'm doing it now. I just realized that. Yeah, you know what? A lot of I it's haven't gotten any comments happened. yet, but no, you're just that, you're just Steve. You're just entering the old man's club. Is all that's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> I just heard you sniffling a lot. You couldn't you couldn't breathe that much, but it was a good video. I liked it. It's not I like your idea with the gravel. It's all those TV interviews he's doing. You know, he knows a big show. He's got air conditioning. He doesn't yeah. like being out in the cold anymore. Yeah. Really. yeah. Yeah, I got my makeup artist just came in about fifteen We're not minutes worthy. ago before I came on. Because I always use I always use BBs. Yeah, I've heard BBs. I've got a few comments on that video already saying they use BBs, but I'm just like, man, a lot can of I, that's a lot of BBs, isn't it? Can I ask one question though? When you used um you said you put water in there, right? I yeah. um I was won't the water make it rust again? How do you get that water off that metal? I, I just blew it out with my air compressor gun. I use methyl hydrate. Yeah, normally yeah. I just use vinegar instead of water. Yeah, vin yeah, vinegar works well. I use nuts and bolts, but the thing I yeah. do, because I'm lazy, is I put it in my dryer and stuff the dryer with like... Oh my God, my wife like would... No, 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 no. You, you, know, you stuff I... it with like blankets and towels, no, you just... know, so that it's like stuck right in the middle. <laughs> and then, hey, Mick, look, you wanted okay. the lady's perspective. There you go. I'm telling you, man. And then and then you put it on dry, just no. air only. And then you go like uh, have dinner or something and come back no, and I... it's done. So, it's so, perfect. So, so, so That's stop. good. I like that. Hey, Mick, oh, when you God. open it up, have a cigarette. You open the hold door. On. Hold on. Hold on, because I'm I'm gonna fail right the first hurdle. I don't know how to work the dryer, man. So <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll just have to ask no. your wife. Okay. Yeah, no, just put it on the yeah, no heat, he asked, and it's great. No, I, uh, have Nana do it. Have Nana do it. No, they're gonna the tell us no. The last no, time, I couldn't get a gas tank near the near the. Dryer, the last right. time I drilled a hole through my dining room table to put an engine engine block on it, she was not happy. So I've been banned from doing that in the house. I can't, I can't do that no more. You know what's really good though? If you could find one, an old paint shaker. They work really good. Yes, well. paint you know shakers yeah. are good. Uh, uh, I have chains on my small tractor mm. for, for traction. And I just take Strap some bungees and attach the, the tank to the, and then I go for a little ride up and down the alley. You're done. Yeah. See, what I use is a rock tumbler. Say, yeah, well, that's, that's, pretty, my, small, that's what though. mine is. It's like a big, giant oh, rock tumbler, big, you know? I got a big old industrial boy. My wife would not let me do that to the driver. Yeah, no, that's she what we're saying. Man. We're all married. She'll, you're she'll never know. Wait till she goes out. She'll never I'm know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly what I was just going to say. She Stella. will never know. She she knows when Bruce goes into the house to heat up his carburetor cleaning solution on the on the stove. She knows then. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to cure her. Trays are missing. I, and I have I've a burn, and, I, and I have a burner on the barbecue. I should just use that. Oh, man. Well, that's tried, well, that's I, how I, you tried. clean out those old Lambretta silencers. You know, you put them on the barbecue and just let them smoke and smoke and smoke and smoke and smoke. Look at that. And then... She's into guns, too. Holy yeah, God. absolutely. Absolutely. No, I will uh, I guess I'll do a video on uh, how I clean gas tanks. Well, yeah, we need to see it in your dryer. That, that would be a good I, video. I, uh, I could just see the, yeah. the customer tries to return a mower, and she goes, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Smith and Mr. Weston. Right. <laughs> yeah. hey, I have that sign in my say. garage. You know right. what they say. God created all men, and Samuel Colt created them all equal. Yeah, I have that sign in my garage. This place is insured by Smith and Wesson. Yeah, exactly that. Isn't it funny how the first first lady appears on the stream? Guns. In 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 two and a half years, of me doing streams, and the first one we're talking about is putting stuff in the dryer to clean it, and guns. It's, She's it's trying just, to it's get us in trouble. She's trying to get us on. I've been getting. I've been trying to get Sandy Rose to get a camera on here, but she won't come on. 
Darkness. Holy cow. Darkness. I'm just outside. I thought I'd just quickly come up on panel. Oh, I'm okay. What I'm doing. Uh, it looks like you're in pain. I was going to say, yeah, it looks like he's, he's trying to squat a number two. No. Oh, dear. If anyone's in pain, it's me. I just got out of the hospital yesterday. Uh, just doing a windscreen. And just a moment. Oh, do a what? Preparing a windscreen chip. In the middle oh, of chip. Good for you. Yeah. Oh, cool. What is that with UV, Park Nest? UV? <laughs> Sure, there was a only only discovered it when I was uh, taking SD card out of my dash cam, uh, and there was a found a chipping windscreen there. Oh, yeah. so just doing a DIY repair. Yeah. Good for you. And got my GoPro set up and making a video of it. There you go. There you go. One wearing my t-shirt. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what, what kind of car was it? Prius. I it's say a Citroen. No. It's a Citroen. It's a Citroen. That's a Citroen Grand C4 Picasso. That's what I got. I got one of them. Picasso. There we go. Oh. I got one of them. Well, Mrs. Pete has. I got, I got a van. Oh, now, is that petrol or diesel? It's a diesel. Oh. Yeah, I got diesel. diesel. So, what you've been working on today, Miss Shorty? Anything good? That's it. Just no. Just. I got two lawnmowers. I got to get out the door, and um, that's it. Six three series. Oh, okay. What what was it you're working on? Uh, oh, I'm working on. I don't know. I did a. Sh I did my sh first shorts video. Uh, yeah. It was called "Part of My Lawnmower Wall of Shame." That's one of them I'm working on. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys saw that or not, but. Uh, and then another one. Uh, I'm creating a second lawnmower wall of shame. This one was missing two bolts, and this guy's been obviously mowing with it because when I went to pull it, the whole engine just went like this, and I'm like, how do you do this? So, yes, yeah, so that'll be my second lawnmower wall of shame short video. Hey, um, so Ken, crankshaft. <laughs> Ken wanted to yeah. know where you where you steal the shirts from for your videos at the laundromat. <laughs> I, I do. It's it's a great – no, actually, I, I, I started collecting um, – bowling shirts and then i wound up with one of these shirts a long time ago and i kept buying more and then i realized i keep doing video with the same names it gets kind of old i mean obviously we all have our shtick and so i like um, your intro that's really cool well it's, it's kind of fun but uh, but you can find on ebay people selling you know these used you know name tags so for like 10 bucks i'll get you know a whole mess of whatever that's and pretty uh cool. And uh, and as I say, uh, Velcro is your friend. See, I can be uh, Elmer. I could use like, them for my business start business card. Yeah. See, now I'm there Elmer. See, Oops. Stella, I got a, I got a question, Stella. Yes, sir. You're indoors, correct? Uh, yes. Right now, well, I had to come in my house because the internet, obviously, in my shop. Uh, well, I see the safety glasses, though. What's up? Uh, I well, I just wear glasses all the time um, because I forgot I forget to take them off. But I wear regular glasses with um, the, these have bifocals in them, which oh, really okay. is helpful after a certain age. Yeah, I know we call them <laughs> yes. cheaters. Yeah. yeah, cheaters, and I and I just wear <laughs> cheaters all the time. <laughs> but I'm yeah, jump see? everyone will probably catch you a bit later on when I've done this repair. All right, Parky. All right, Park Nest. Yep. All right, thanks for having me up on panel. No worries, Mike. So I just subbed Lawn Mower Lady. I, I, I went and checked and I had not subbed yet. Well, the thank you. Speech. I appreciate that. Yeah, she needs more subs. She does really good videos. Well, I I just try to pass the love on and help other people like me who would like to try to learn how to do this or learn enough. And then, you know, there's a lot of good information out there, but trying yep. to find it in an accessible manner, I think, is what intimidates yep. a lot of people. So, and she's also the only mechanic that wears safety glasses when they're doing their repairs. No, no, no. no. Well, well, I do. I wear, I I wear one of them using grinders and all that stuff. Yeah. I oh, yeah. I, but... I, I suffer with the same problem. I always forget to put mine on. I've, I've never wear, ever, never wear them, never have done, never it's will just do. It's like me. I can't. I, I, I can't I, wear no, them. I, I have, have, have to wear them in my shop all day long. So I wear them ten to twelve hours a day, every single day. Yeah. And right. I have a, you get, and I have a reminder right. set right by the grinder, just in case. <laughs> yeah, especially no, sharpening I mean, blades. The first time you have, like that, forget it. 
the first time yeah. you have to pull one of the strands from from, from the uh, oh the from wire the wheels from the yeah, wire wheel out of your eye. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. If it's even cheap, weed whacking, lucky. Though, weed whacking is terrible, boy. You get pelted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I started wearing these all the time because if I wear my real glasses, my prescription glasses, man, the first time I wore those, I shot carburetor cleaner. It went right in and straight back in and ruined my, you know, the $400 pair of glasses. So now I always wear cheap, you know, um, uh, bifocals and it just became a thing. So I wear them all the time, you know, <laughs> there you go. There you look like a minion. Hey, we got a minion. You look like a minion. That's Stuart. That's Stuart. Stuart. That's right. Yeah. A minion. Stuart the minion. Oh, yeah. I, I bet, I bet right. Riley Boy loves those. They are his. <laughs> I stole them off of him. He stole his minion glasses. <laughs> so, Steve, got a question for you. You went to the doctor for an EKG. How'd that come out? Oh, yeah. Um, no, yeah, an ECG, electrocardiogram. Yeah. Um, actually came back normal. Not while well, he's yeah. still with us. All right. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, the ECG came back totally normal and it was it was heart rate was still a little high, 83, mm -hmm. I think it was. Yeah, that's well, mine runs that. been about a week before it ever dropped below a hundred, so I was pretty surprised. But yeah. she yeah, uh, when I went back to the doctor, she said, Yeah, the ECG actually looks pretty normal for somebody your age <laughs> I, said, <"Pardon laughs> me? I hate when they say that, I hate that. i'm glad to hear <laughs> damn i'm not mick for crying out loud yeah i just i just found out yesterday that i have a chronic illness <laughs> and you, you do what's up with you then i have diverticulitis Ooh, no more strawberries for you yeah i was just in yeah, the hospital for two it. days yesterday I just got out and yeah, but you got uh, to quit like, smoking too. Quit smoking, yeah. smoking and yeah. drinking. My buddy I, had that. I, had I don't think we have that disease in Europe. We don't have that disease in Europe. What, what is non, it? Non-drinking disease? <laughs> That's the little holes in the lungs. The very little holes. No, and stuff. it's an, it's a gut thing. Mine's it's a gut in, thing. It's in your gut. In your gut. Yeah, but little teeny holes. You yeah. can't eat anything with seeds. Yeah, I know, and it sucks because they're what, like, "Sorry hey. to tell you this, but your life's gonna have to change." And I'm like. I thought that was for old people. I'm only 30. Yeah. <laughs> the hits. Oh, dear. Gross. Ooh, yummy. To be oh, fair. Oh, my goodness. Uh, hold on. Hold on. To be fair, that looks oh. like Nana P's cooking. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. In, I'm in so much pain right now, like excruciating pain, but I still I thought gotta, it was a bunch of baby I still got to work. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you can't feel sorry for someone that's not going to smoke and uh, drink, you know, and have that, you know. You got to watch, right. yeah. I just found out yesterday, so I mean, I gotta wean myself off. Nicotine's one of the hardest things in the world to quit, besides meth or heroin. It, it's right. harder. Yeah, but you know what? I think the best thing is to just throw them down on the ground and walk away. That's the best. Yep. Now you guys are making. Yeah, but you know what, Andrew? Look at look right at your now. little boy, and then throw it down. Exactly. Right. That's what I I need to do it. I you know, but um, I also they also told me I gotta stop. Drinking Red Bulls. Oh my God, Ooh, that's, that's toxic. Yeah, that's poison. worse than alcohol. Oh my God, you, you, you'll do better. Yeah, you'll do, you'll do better off drinking fifty to one two-stroke mix and drinking that stuff. <laughs> hey, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Well, uh, well, well. just wait. Don't tell your little boy that. No, yeah. I know. No. I know. I gotta. I gotta. In the the one thing that I think I can't. They said I gotta do a lot of like less red meat. That's gonna be the hardest thing to quit. Mm. What? True. Chris, we don't have that disease in Europe at all. <laughs> Beer and red meat, straight yeah. up. Yeah. Oh. No, no <laughs> more. So that means no more Oktoberfest. Klaus, Klaus, Klaus to, to, to be to be to be correct, you, you guys don't even cook your meat. You 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 guys eat your meat with a pulse on it and hair. No, no, we more. don't even we don't even kill the animal. We just no, exactly that. Right. You, you, yeah, you, yeah. you spend I, you, you know, spend half your time. Half the time running around the field just, just biting sheep. That's what you do. Yeah. 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 That's oh, awesome. Yes. I survived my mother's cooking plows. <laughs> Once she had the only stove in the world with a flush handle on it. Yes. Yeah. That's a problem pan, because I pan, you guys pan fried, knew, pan you guys fried all knew what it was. Best. And I've never heard of it until they told me I had it, but you guys all seem to know what it was. Oh, I've yeah. never heard about it. Age. It's, it's usually popular with thin people who smoke, to be honest with you. 
Well, well, I'm fat, so. Well, I'm I'm safe. Yeah, and, Mick's and safe. So, so is Mick. He's not thin. <laughs> so in I? I'm, well, I don't. I'm, we we don't know what I'm, Mick's smoking there. I'm not. I'm not at risk. I am morbidly obese. <laughs> they don't even know what Mick's smoking. And you know what? They kept they kept looking at me really sternly, really sternly, and kept saying, "You need to quit smoking marijuana." And I'm like. Dude, I don't even smoke marijuana. Why do you guys keep telling me that? Like it's some I don't even do it. But they kept just looking at me going, "Hey, you need to lay it off, man. No more marijuana." <laughs> and I'm just see, like, "Okay, I'll quit that." I'll see, quit we, talk, we talk about seeds coming out of holes. Mix got to watch cuz you get seeds coming out of that hole. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What's that? Uh, what? Oh, oh damn it. That video. <laughs> that, that's oh, that's it. That's kitten, that's kitten screensaver. That is going to be my, 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 uh, my, my next sticker. My there you go. Ten, 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 say, six. say crack kills. Yeah. yeah. Say no to crack. Say no to crack. Yeah. My uh, <laughs> my overweight heart doctor told me to lose a few pounds. Oh, don't you love that, Bruce? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I just yeah. looked at him like, what the hell? But hey, that's good that Steve's in good health, you know. For some yeah. reason, they did an EKG on me too, and I'm like, dude, I didn't come in here with heart problems. I came in here with um, my. St I thought it was a kidney stone because I've had a lot of kidney stones, and then they're like, no, sorry, dude, you have uh, you're you're messed up now. You're gonna have to change your whole life. And I'm like, well, okay. So yesterday, I was trying to get on people's live streams, but I was so doped up. They gave me so much medicine, I couldn't even concentrate. Sounds like fun. so. When is that gonna wear off? Uh, uh, I have no idea. I'm still riding the morphine. I'm still riding the morphine. It's what it is, right? You know, as as you get older, as, as you get older, and I think me, me and Henry were, were talking about this a while ago because Henry, obviously, you had a you had a, a, an issue a few you know, a little while ago, didn't you, mate? And um, you've had to take it easy. And you and the way you've adapted your workshop for you winches and you know you, you don't lift nothing and you you took an engine off of a, a ride on mode the other week did not lift a thing you yep. know and and, and that, that, that that's that's the way yep. to do it right i mean you're you my age you'll understand yeah i had yeah. a couple of trip free trips to the uh, hospital in the big and red and white truck and ever since then everything's on wheels uh got chain hoists i got yeah, I my it. lift meets the truck everything is it's a lot I easier. Said, Bruce, Bruce, you know, I, I, I'm not a million miles, you know, um, away from where you are, Bruce. I, I, age, obviously, we're, we're a few decades apart. But yeah, I'm old enough to be your dad. You just <laughs> I, I, I'm a grandpa. I understand that. But um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I got a lift table in because you know some of the machines, those hate of 48s or 56s, they're, they're not funny. Yeah, you know, they're heavy, man. No, they and now you got ramps now. And now I've got a ramp. So I've got a ramp coming up into the shed. A ramp going onto my lift table. I just wheel it in, man. I, I ain't got a lift. Nothing. Do you know what I mean? Wait, what, yeah, what is nice. Point? Wait till you guys hit thirty hey, on the Andrew, pender lift. Seriously though, Andrew, did you have stomach pains and all that? What was what made you go? Yeah, in? yeah. All of a sudden, yeah. Uh, all of a sudden, what was it? Um, it was a few days ago. All of a sudden, I was just having the worst pain. I couldn't even move, like get out of bed or nothing. So I had to have my brother pretty much lift me up, take me to the car, take me to the hospital. I got admitted, and then next thing you know, I thought it was a bad kidney stone. And then they're like, nope, you have diverticulitis. And I'm yeah. like, okay, so when does this go away? And they're like, it don't. It doesn't. And I'm like, oh, well, thank you. You know, because well, you know, I'm at the ripe old age. I'm like grandpa status at 30 years old, and I'm like, well, it's about time. It's, brother, it's, it's it's what it is. You know, if you if you look around you on this panel, I think you're actually probably the youngest here. I dare say, you know. And you, you look at people like Henry and uh, and Bruce. You know, you know they're they're at the. I've got to be careful here because I called Bruce old the other day on his video. He told me off. So <laughs> so, so so let's go with let's just go with vintage. They're at the ripe old vintage, vintage age. You know, and, and, years and, of experienced and 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 these Before. guys are still, are still pumping out pumping out machines and pumping out motors left, right, and center. But they're just they're doing it w with ease. You know, it's it's mm. us stupid fools that are that are running around lifting stuff and twisting backs and all. You know, eventually it bite you in the bum. Yeah, my it's my good. problem is my problem is as soon as we're done here, I'm gonna go out and start working again. I can't stop working. You know, I still gotta make money. I, I understand that. And, and do you know what? I, I dare say, if you ask Bruce the same question, Bruce has never worked so hard since he's retired, right, Bruce? Uh, well, that's true. <laughs> well, you stop. <laughs> and I've well, never made. Well, I was always told you stop working, you die. Well, I used no, to get I, I used to not. get paid for what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know. 
right, Henry? No, you I, you know, I'm a few hundred bucks a month now. <clears throat> okay, nobody look. Still love it. You no, just I, you 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 have, you have I, I, I did a major change in hobby mode today. Did you? Oh, close. Yes, I did. The, uh, the the Department of Free Advice just closed down permanently. Ah. This what spring, uh, the, 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 the Department for Free Advice. Phone wise, or what kind, Klaus? Phone or I've had, come in? I, I, I can't. His wife. <laughs> and he oh, froze. He just froze. I don't know. We lost you, buddy. He, he, I, he, he, I think. I think. I don't think Klaus has got internet problems. I think he's sobering ah. up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Klaus is telling me if I go to Europe, I can be cured. That's what he there? said. What? Are you there, Klaus? Diet. You're very Close, glitchy. I'm here. I'm here. You're very glitchy, Klaus. Oh yeah. I am. We we missed what you were saying, Klaus, because you completely froze on the screen. Department of Free Advice. Give me a second. Okay. Give me a second. Now, how many of you guys have customers that call you up? And you want to diagnose and fix it over the phone? Hey, I did that the other day. <laughs> Nothing oh, like a hardwire connection. I did Don't that Ken, the other day. <laughs> and you know what, Ken? The other no, uh, matter of no, fact, the other day he actually sent me money too for doing it, and I told him he didn't have to. That's nice. Well, it's the same thing as your channel. Your your comments on your channel. Yeah. Yeah. Same yeah. thing. People don't phone you. They. Hey, my chainsaw doesn't work. What's but sometimes, with... though, Steve, after 32 texts over a two or three day period, it's like, yeah, how about throwing me five or 10 bucks? You know? Yeah. yeah. Well, see, the thing of it is, though, is I, I, I mean, told them I, I said, I mean, can, can, can that's what I closed down today. Oh. I have had, I, I can't remember how, I mean, I stopped counting a month oh, I ago. See. See, I thought I, mean, I thought maybe your wife was mad yeah, at once, you. Well, no, once they have your no, number, no, I said, no, no, like no. your best friend. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, if I post a video and people have questions to that particular video, right. no problem. I will right. answer anything that anyone right. puts in. Yeah. Right. But I know, I, but you oh, get questions on lawn tractors when you're doing a chainsaw. Yes, I, I get, and I have a Facebook page as well. It is just peltering me with questions. Can I do this? And uh, how do I do that? And uh, and, and I have to say, today. Yeah, I got if, the if same problem. Getting, post. Yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna get any work done, the Department of Free Advice has just closed down. It's oh. uh, yeah, and and it, I, I, I actually don't like it. I don't like it, but I don't have the time for it. I mean, I, I you, you know, I, you I, could I, probably just leave that leave that comment unanswered and go down to the ones you want to answer. That might be yeah, the way yeah. to go. And and I will, I will. But but sometimes, I mean, since I run a, a Facebook channel as well or a Facebook page, mm -hmm. you get tons of messenger questions and and i just from today they're going to be ignored it, it, it's ending because i took a count last week three hours last week three hours but you can't I, do that why not well no i'm saying i'm no i'm saying you 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 can't devote that much time ah, to that ah, and, yeah, and once and once your yeah. channel gets big enough you know some of us you know might not ever get there but that's a problem that's why a lot of people hire these other people to answer all those questions. They come yeah. up with these, you know, generic, you know, answers to sort of stuff. And yeah. I, you know, there's a certain point where you just got to say, I know, yeah. no, but yeah. I mean, but I mean, there's a certain point where you just have to yeah. say, you know, I can respond to you, say hello and be helpful, but you can't, you can't be fixing everybody's problems. No. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and Sandy, that's, that's actually what dawned on me today. So, uh, admin. Yeah. So, yeah. so, what, so, so, so what you need is 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 a Canadian automated admin service for when you when you hit the big time, you, you just get get a computer to do it for you. <laughs> hey, Mick, can can we say hello to Mr. Briggs? We've ignored him for a while. He's no, been he, burning he, something. He, he, he's been, he's been cooking. popping in and out. He, he's there. He's been popping in and out and oh, going. Yeah, he's back, looking good. Coming back. And... What's going on, Scott. He's there. He's, 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 he's interested. He's keeping us interested. Nah, they just ain't they ain't a good day. That's all. Yeah. What's up? They started the old man on morphine treatment. Ah, oh, uh, sorry, Scotty. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, all I could say is these people you talk about that smoke. COPD is is will kill you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it will. You're right, Scotty. What's that stand for? Don't hold back. Let us know how you think. Yeah, stop you don't want to know what bush. I think. 
Uh, you yeah. don't want to know how Mr. Briggs thinks because Mr. Briggs just decided to go burn his burn brush pile. That's just what he did. <laughs> Neighbors called the cops. Burning, I told him to jump in a creek. To come to you. For no, a, I don't a, burn. I don't burn quality. <laughs> oh, <laughs> drop him down, Mick. Drop him good, down. Get him out good, of here. Good yeah. comeback on that. Good comeback. That was, <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. You know what, M Mr. Briggs? Mr. Briggs has enough on I his plate right now, and he's not quite thinking as straight and the forward as he should do. So I'll let that slide. I'll let that slide this once. You're all right, Mr. Briggs. I'm, you know, hey, I hope, you, know, you I want to see a one pull to come, I can show you a one pull to come. It's older than Mick. Hey, yeah, I, yeah. Hope, I, yeah. hope he, I hope he gets better, man. Well, uh, unfortunately, uh, st start starting morphine don't 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 sound like it's going to get much better than what it is. No, no, they got he's got hospice and morphine coming. Oh, yeah. all, I got nurses uh, here twenty four yeah. seven. He can't even wipe his own. You know what? Yeah, yeah, that's tough stuff. It's what it is, bro. It's what it is. You know, it's hard, hard to say it, but morphine that that's that that was that stuff. I'm still I'm still going off of it and I'm just like that's some strong stuff. They gave me fentanyl too and I'm just like whoa I couldn't even tell the difference between a carburetor and a muffler. To to be to be perfectly fair, I you'll I, fit I in around problem. here now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, is that a problem? problem on most days. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've I've no fear on that. Um, so, so there's a question there a minute ago. Did anyone see that question there from Michael Roberts? Um, uh, Mick, I've just serviced my mate's Mountfield RV 150. Oh, horrible engine. Uh, all plug, etc. Uh, also, new governor spring. Now would like to set it uh, to work in RPM. That is it. And how to set it. Um, governor Springs. Yeah. Uh, the, the I got to say, I, I mean... <laughs> Go on, Klaus. Are, are we 150s? If if you think Tecumseh's a bad. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to welcome the Miller's chat to, where we do be, not hold back on what we think about your bad engines. Have be, you, first of all, put, has he disconnected here, and here you go. The, uh, the governor arm? To, to, be, to, be perfectly, to be perfectly clear, Bruce, uh, an RV150, if you can get one running nicely, just leave it alone, irrespective yeah. if it's running. Yeah, any, you you did a video, man. Remember? Any governor. Look, any governor. Look, here, here you go, Mick. This, this, this is your uh, – this engine is older than you, and, yes, it's that dirty, nasty word that you don't like. This is actually older than Mick. <laughs> to, to, to be fair, but, favorite but, engine. that's not a hard this, thing. That's a snowblower. Mm. That's a 1974 yeah, snowblower. It, but it's, old. it's, only it's older than 74. That's, that's, quali that's quality stuff. Mick's only yeah, 22 Dickinson. years old. Yeah, but what? But, but look, but this is older than Mick. <laughs> See, you just, <laughs> we're just going to prime it. <laughs> to be fair, it's in better shape than me. <laughs> it probably is in better shape than you. But... Uh, Whoa, how old hey, are you? Look at the mold on the gas tank. But Mr. Briggs, yeah. will it start? Will it start? Oh, yeah. He's, well, he's going to well, start it. It'll start. Yeah, watch. Looks like my job here, right? One pull. There you go. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I horse power. Is that the same that's engine you have on your spruce? Oh, no, mine's an eight. It okay. just come back from the workshop two minutes ago. Right, it's red yep. hot. I'm not having none of that. <laughs> pre primed, pre primed, and everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A decumpsy that starts first pull, whatever. Yeah, the snow king is doing it. Three hours. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't see those horizontal shaft engines over here, do we? No, we don't see them over here, bro. No, no, no. no. Yeah. There's a reason for that. We're not silly enough to have them. Well, Mick, what are you? You're, you're, you're about 22 years old, right? I'm, 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 mate, I'm 22 stone, alone 22 years old. <laughs> 22 stone. A stone is what, 14 pounds? 16 I'm, uh, pounds, I think. 16? Four, four, 14 pounds to a stone. 14, yeah, I knew it. Yep. Yeah. Good. Um, Good I'm a, oh, boom! The American I'm, over here knows about the UK and your bagged milk. Do you guys have I'm, bagged uh, milk like Steve in Canada? Bad milk. Yeah, bagged, bagged in a bag. In a plastic bag. We don't have we, we don't have milk in a bag. Okay, that's just Steve. We don't have it here in Alberta. 
That's just Canada. They do theme. have it in Belgium. Yeah, no, no, don't have, I, I, I'm 43 this year. 43 years old this year. Hmm. My, daughter's, my, my daughter's 41. <laughs> I got you, older your daughter's, like your daughter's older than me. That Mick, that means I was watching the movie Grease when you were born. What film? The movie well, Grease. Ken's oh, no, no. only Ken's only oh, no, like no, no. 40, 40 oh, no, no. years old. <laughs> Ken is, Ken is going to be 58. There you go. You're not that far behind me. I was Nikki. watching. Uh, I was watching John Wayne's The War Wagon when Mick was born. <laughs> well, Klaus, Klaus looks like oh, he's 18 oh. years old. He does not. He's just got, he's just got a bad it camera. Be, it must be that European beer. Look at him. Look. Look at him. Look at him. Suave. Looking young. 18 look, years old. Look, looking. Look. Look. Look at this. I mean, I look at it this way. When you get old, you grow. You grow more. You get more mature. I shaved this morning. Look at that. I already got a five o'clock shadow at three o'clock. No kidding. They, eh? they say it's all how you feel. So I asked Mrs. Potty about. I want to feel a twenty-five year old. She says no. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Um, question, uh, gentlemen, what is and ladies, uh, what is the uh, valve clearance on a Briggs and Strat three hundred series? Much appreciated, please. Couldn't tell 004. you. Oh, four. Pardon me, gotta go. All right, See Bruce. Ya. See you later, yeah, Bruce. Four to five thousand or four to six. Point oh oh four. <laughs> would, would you say four? Would you say would you say four inlet, six out six exhaust? No, a little bit bigger on exhaust usually. I, I I would normally. Would, would you set it four on four then, um, Shorty? Yes, I would. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they're. I mean, they're, they're, you you never over rev them. It's not like you're gonna like rev it up and it's gonna be at you know twelve thousand RPM or something. No, it just yeah yeah yeah. yeah. So there's uh, your answer uh, from the gent for the gentleman with the uh, that's a lady. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we were talking about Steve and his bagged milk because Steve in Canada has bagged milk. We Steve, do. Do, do you? I got I, I to gotta ask, I, I ask a question. Why would it not be? And this is because I'm actually not a trained mechanic. Uh, I'm uh, a hobbyist. A hobbyist, 100%. Like why, why would setting the clearance tight not be a problem when it's not over revving? Because it's not going to get on the on the exhaust valve. It's going to be hotter if it can't let go of all that exhaust. Mm -hmm. So if ah, you, as, yes. as as yeah. as long as it's not over revving, if it stays at a constant whatever it's going to be, what twenty eight hundred yeah. three thousand RPM, yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll be fine. Perfect. Thank you. I, I, just know, a four, I never understood I that. Four and eight. A Thank four you. And eight. Just another victim called. He's dropping off a mower here in 15 minutes. Uh oh, what have we got, got coming mean, customer, in? Sorry, customer. What, 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 yeah. what, what, what oh, coming okay. in? Hey, another Steve, what, kind of, what kind of chainsaw is that in the back, Steve? The yellow one? Yeah, it looks like a Macaulay. No, it's a, a John, it's a John Deere, but it's... Hold on. Echo. It's actually, it's actually made by Echo. Yeah. Wow. It's I've never Echo seen, chainsaw, but I've never seen John one like that. All over it. Yeah, I like that gone. chrome. Yeah, Echo made the yeah. gear shot. What about that other awesome. one? Is that a Mini Mac? Yeah, and that's, yeah. this is the Macaulay. Yeah, that's we call those Mac. boat anchors. That no, that's the best saw made. This thing oh, runs awesome. awesome. Oh, Mick, get them off the panel, please. Of course, of course, it runs awesome. They don't never yeah. not run. Yeah. Yeah. I have to go. Hard as hell to work on. Hang on, Bruce's um exit stage left. Cheers, Brucey boy. I'll see you soon, buddy. Thank you, everybody. You're Very welcome, nice. mate. Take Look after yourself. Thank you, Bruce. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, but bye, bye, Uncle Bruce. I like I that chrome, though. Boy. I like that chrome on that chainsaw. Yeah, that chainsaw is probably worth a little bit of money because it does run. It works beautiful. It looks nice, right under your yeah, play I button. Think I threw too. up of It those. only runs. It only runs at like eight thousand RPM. Won't it run That's better with nice. the chain on it, though? It will actually cut a lot better if the chain is on it. Yeah, it will definitely it work faster. <laughs> we have it, we have especially it, if you put the chain on properly, and not backwards. Except right, so it doesn't go the wrong way. Right. He has it set to kid mode. Oh, DNR says hello to the lawnmower lady. That's David Small in repair. Oh, hey David, how are you today? 
I miss that. How come Dave isn't coming up here? He's flat out. I think, do, do you know what, Dave, poor old he's, Dave. He's start, burnt out. He's burnt he's out at the his, moment. Um, he started his little, um, his little small engine business, you know, this year. And uh, he was sort of, things aren't picking up and things, you know, things aren't, aren't, aren't starting to get busy. And I said, just wait, just, just give it a bit of time. Give it a bit of time. Now he's swamped. <laughs> now That's he's got too I much stuff too. coming in. For springtime. Yeah. It happens, man. It happens. You, you, you know, I, 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 I try now to pick and choose my jobs. People ring me up or text me or email whatever, say, I've got this. And I, I just pick what I want to do. Do you know what I mean? Because otherwise you end up just getting all sorts of stuff in. But stuff that just is never going to run. So, you know, just, yeah. just, yeah, that's the way to do it. I had a fella, I had a fella this week, actually, funnily enough, he bought in a, he texted me, he asked if I do repairs. So I, I try. Um, and then he then persisted on telling me what I needed to do to fix it. Which I thought was quite nice, actually. Um, yeah. So really? okay. What, what do you say? Yeah. Oh, it's probably just the spark plug, Vic. It's just the spark plug. No, no, he no. He said it, it needs a carburetor clean and needs this and needs that and what have you. And I said that's fine. So I said, so if, if you're so so sure what it needs, why ain't you done it? Yeah. You know, he said, well, I'm not a mechanic. I said, well, neither am I. <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, you've got to got to try and diagnose what's going on. He said, well, I left the fuel in last year. It was a a, a Briggs uh, E series crappy plastic engine. Um, the, the one, the ones that you know that just don't run from brand new, them ones. Um, and uh, yeah, he persisted on telling me what he wanted me to do, and, and pretty much told me how much I was going to charge him as well. So yeah, we didn't do that job, but that job stayed in it stayed in the inbox. Yeah, see, yeah. but I like I had a sign one time that says it's sixty five dollars an hour. Um, you know, if you want me to work on it, it's a hundred dollars an hour if you want to watch me, and it's a hundred and fifty dollars an hour if you want to watch me and tell me how to do it. Yeah, exactly right. that. Yeah, and exactly. Two hundred if you're going to help. Right. Yep. Right. Hey, hey, Steve. If um, when you get a chance, check your Instagram DMs. I, I sent you I a just, message. I just saw it. I don't know how to do it, Andrew. Oh, it says, okay. It says you want to send me a message, but I've never seen that before. You got to click on the message on the upper he, right. He, he doesn't know how to do it because well, he doesn't have no post. He just he made an Instagram. He doesn't know how to do it. His admin does his Instagram his right. Instagram for him. He don't work on Instagram. You've got admin do that sort of stuff. Would you rather yeah. email right. you instead? Okay. Okay. Circle. Just click on the message. Yeah, my it's executive not. producer usually takes care of this for me. Steve, Steve, right. if you go into your Steve, if you go into your cell phone and look up the word personal assistant, ring her. She'll tell you how to do it. Hey. Would you S rather S email you and Steve will tell you? Steve will work for beer. Steve will work for beer. I'll just go up to beer, um, bring a case of Heineken or something, and Steve will work for beer. He don't need money. Steve what do I click money. on, Messenger or Facebook? Oh, my Lord. It's like trying to... It's like trying it to should, money. Oh, How do you, you just have, own it? Do you have the app called Business Suite? See, no. If you look on Instagram, see the one all the way to the right, that little tilde in there next to the heart? Oh, Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Right next to it, right there on the right-hand side, that little circle with the tilde in it. Click on that. That's a message. It's like trying to teach a monkey to use a spoon, and it? it really is. A man can the man can take a chainsaw apart upside down, do, do valve clearances, and all, but he can't use Instagram. Damn it, Jim! I'm a mechanic, not a <laughs> computer tech. <laughs> Giving her all she's got. Would, would you rather me email you instead, Steve? There's Andy, nothing on my Instagram. Andrew, just send the man a letter. It'd be easy. He can read that. Well, what I mean, trying to I, rub our I, belly I need, and pat our head at the same time. I need his address for a letter. That's what I'm trying to get. There's. Oh well, if you just need my at, my at, my mailing address. Yeah, it's on my website right at the bottom of the website. Okay. Yeah, because I'm going to send you a sticker. From you, I don't see anything on Instagram. I did what Ken just. I clicked on that, and there's nothing there. There's no number one next to the tilt on the message. There, is, there is, but I so you on click that on that circle, circle and a message should pop up. Yeah. Oh, I got from Kenny. It ain't gonna happen. Mm. So, Henry, what have hard. you been on today, mate? You been on much, of Henry? You been working? No, today is it's like almost ninety degrees out there. Yeah, it's hot Too today. Hot. Is it hot? Is it? Yeah. Ninety Should degrees. Where do you live again, Henry? The sun. Connecticut. Next to me. It's, He's it's only about forty minutes north of me. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. No rain for the past week. Have you house. not got AC in Henry? No AC in there? Not not in the shed. <laughs> Man. No, no good. 
Well, that's what it is. It's, it's been getting warm here, but part, we're, we're due. I don't know whether you guys over there have, have had rainstorms because we've got about nine days of rain coming. And, and we, we haven't had, had any rain in two weeks, mate. <laughs> My, yeah. I'm telling you, we, we, we've had nothing. But today, my, my garden was flooded in, in, in half an hour. Yeah, look, here we go, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, we're, not, we're not getting that over here. It's mm. actually colder here today. It's only 68 degrees here. Yeah. Uh, Jeff says he can't even type. Me think fingers are drunk. <laughs> <That's> Steve, <laughs> I... no. oh, Steve. Okay, so Steve, you said I could find it on your website, right? Okay, so I can send you a sticker there. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm right at the bottom of my website, there's a mailing address there. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot easier than me trying to figure out my phone. Now, Steve, why would you put your mailing address uh, on your about page? You notice that it's not my street address. Mm. That's why. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's, yeah, only, that's why. There's, there's only a select few of people who have got that address. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. He he sent me one of those nice Hayes machinery t-shirts. That's how he got it. Ah, oh, the plot thickens. There we go. Yeah. I knew he was sucking up. Oh, yeah. it's because you don't have my address, Mick, that I don't got a t-shirt, eh? Hmm? <laughs> Apparently, no, James no, sent no, 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 to, to, to be fair, Klaus, if I don't do it in your size. Oh. Ooh. What's that? Medium? <laughs> Medium? <laughs> no, small. Hey, oh, small you know around what? the right. small around the neck. <laughs> here's something. Um, here's something I really wanted to talk to you guys about. It might be a little bit boring for the people in the chat, though. So when you say, maybe when, when we you say, wait when, after, but when you it's say, what Stella, it's what Stella when, brought up. When you say short. guys, when you say guys, I'm assuming you mean guys and girls, right, Steve? Yes, yes, and I, I, I try on my videos. I actually try really hard to say guys and girls, and or everybody or something like that, because I have had a few women uh, highly offended by that. No, no, no. They, I, just, I just say people. they deserve to be offended. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so what are you going to talk about? about? Stella, about your shorts, the the short videos you do. Oh well, I you why? Know. Why would any YouTuber do a short? That's that's my question. Why? What is the point of doing a short on a YouTube Views. channel? That is a brilliant question. And I said, I'm just going to stick my toe into this just a little bit to see how mm -hmm. it works. And I don't know. Because uh, you don't get lot, credit for it. If you, you, what, well, no, you don't, you don't get credit. But I was curious to know how it worked because I don't think – it's going to be very helpful for a lot of tutorial type videos, which is really not, what all not, we do. But if you if you look at if you uh, my opinion with regards to right. the shorts is if you look at some of the shorts, they have been up for three months. They've got like two point three million views right. on them. Okay, right. so if you're not not if you're struggling for views because only thirty second clip anyway, right, or, or minute clip. Right. Um, yeah. If you if you want if you want to try and boost your views up, um, you could put a, a short out. With a good a good thumbnail and caption, that that one short could do sixty thousand views in a week, right? Because most right. people and, watch the whole thing. Sure. Yeah, exactly. And, and for 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 a, for a very very small video, um, right? It, 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 it could potentially um, could potentially boost your channel. What I will say is, I don't do shorts. I've done two or three. That's it. Yeah, I don't right. do them because I, I, I have a set timetable. I release videos on a Wednesday, a Saturday right. morning, and I do my live stream Saturday night. That, that's all I do but because if you release too many videos inside 24 hours, YouTube will only ever push the first video that you've right. released. Right. So, it is, is normally shorts don't go to the subscription box. They go to the short shelf. I could tell you right. two reasons why I've been doing them. One is because I go get on. some new subscribers from them. Look at this. Right. Then, Six bucks. And plus also um, from not only the new subscribers, the second thing is that um, it, if if someone watches your short and it hits the short shelf, um, the audience retention from that video, whether it be 30 seconds, it's saying that, hey, this channel is having 100% audience retention. 
and it kind of helps boost the channel just a tad bit. I mean, for big well, channels it, like Steve Fawn Saloon, it doesn't really matter, but we're we're little babies over here. We need to get some kind of other views going on to get some subscribers. Yeah. Right, it's, but the other problem with that is is that is that you have this retention rate. It shows they're watching, you know, 85% of your 30 second video, but they also ding you on the other side that says Oh well, your your average view time has gone down. Well, yeah, it's only a thirty second video, so think, it's um, a it's kind of weird. I don't know how. I, I think they're still trying to work out how it's going to work. But the only reason I want to try it is to try to drive subscribers. If they see something, it's kind of interesting. Boom, they I, might hit I, the subscribe. I, I, button. Yeah. That's all I'm doing because the ones I've been following doing shorts is is mainly a momentic one, right? And. I can't remember the other one, but but I'm there to learn. Whenever right. I watch a video, when I watch Steve, when I watch one of you guys, when I, I'm there to learn every, every single time. I, I I suck something up that I didn't know, and I store it, and I go use it. And shorts for me is an annoyance. Right. Well, I mean, but then again, you gotta have fun. Like, what what did what did you learn from Steve's video of him using a a lawn or leaf blower and a softball. I mean, we're just having fun, you know. Not every video is going to be entertaining. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't watched either Steve's nor Jeremy's yet. <laughs> yeah, I liked yeah. it. I thought it was cool that and, he, and, he and, took time and out is, of his it day. It is fun, and, and one day I will watch them. But but honestly, when I tune into Steve, when I tune yeah. into Mick, when I tune into Ken, Henry, a, any one of you or one of the other ones, I, I, I'm set to learn. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And there's, I mean, there's uh, only so much you can do yeah. in 60 seconds. So yeah, all I, it is is just entertainment. It's a it's it, an it, interlude. It, 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 and and, and, and it, honestly, I, 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 honestly, when I tune into you guys, I, I'm actually not there to be entertained. Personally, I'm right. not there to be entertained. I'm there to suck up knowledge. And yeah, I, I, I understand that, and I, yeah. I, I think I think what um, what crypto is saying also is, is valid um, in a comment below. But the the shorts is YouTube's answer to TikTok. TikTok, yeah, right? True. Yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah. And I use TikTok. Yeah. I post on TikTok all the time too. Exactly See, that. But, but but what you need to remember is, I think, and I may, I may be wrong. Okay, if you run a platform like like your like your YouTube uh, platform, okay. If you then have Facebook, say, which is linked, uh, you, you you throw your videos onto Facebook. All you're doing is you're taking viewers away from Facebook onto YouTube. That's all you're doing. Yeah. And, fa yeah. and Facebook don't like that, okay? Because you, you, you're throwing a YouTube link onto their platform and you're taking their customers away from their ad revenue. And I think it's much the same as TikTok and Instagram and Twitter, all those, all those other platforms. If you post onto other platforms, and someone then sees that, clicks the link, and comes over to YouTube. Those platforms don't like that, and I think somewhere along the line that will hinder you with regards to your views on that platform alone. So that's why I only use um, YouTube and Instagram only. But I only post video um, photographs on Instagram. I don't take my customers away from Instagram. Hey, are you are you trying to are you trying to drive your Instagram viewers? To your YouTube channel? No, no, no. Literally, I, I just put. I've done a video today, whatever it is. I, I put my thumbnail generally up there, and, right. and that's it. So if they, they can come and watch it at their leisure, there's no direct link to that video right. to take them away. So, right. quick question, hey, Klaus. There's one of the viewers out there was wondering if you did anything in English. How can someone look at your channel, Klaus? Is it in the description that it's English? How would they know it'd be an English uh, language on your video? I, I, I didn't. I didn't get that, Ken. I'm sorry. How would they know if one of your videos is English versus Danish? Uh, the the uh, the title would be in English. Okay, that'll answer for Rhodes John C. See, because I post videos. I post videos on um, five different sites. Mm. I hear you, um, but I, I, I watch I, because I, he's the redneck from across the pond. I but I like I like watching you know I like watching mix mix mowers and I like watching Steve. But not only are they just knowledgeable, they're entertaining too. I like if I'm just watching someone just talk and being boring, you know, not laughing, having a good time. You know, Steve's drinking beer, Terrell's doing little skits. I like to see some entertainment with my knowledge. You know, I don't like to feel like I'm in school. The way the, 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 the way I, the way the way I see it, okay, it, for, for me, and bear in mind, you know, I, I I've only been going. Just a little over two years, two years and four months. That's it. Okay. 
I'm at nearly 7,500 subscribers, which isn't bad for a UK-based channel. I, tr I strongly believe that you guys and girls in the US do better out of YouTube because it is owned by an American company. I, I truly do believe that, okay? I think over here in the UK, we get the, the rough end of the stick. All, all I will say is, is that the only way your channel will ever grow to be a successful base where you can perhaps earn a bit of income out of it and uh, and you know and, and build your status up and, and that's that's just content it's just it's just sheer content you've got to put content out on a regular basis youtube like structure if you put a video out on a monday and a wednesday for, for a year you will see your, your your channel grow if you put out a short here you put out a video there you do a live stream right. there you know youtube don't like it but YouTube, like do, youtube doesn't like anything that isn't english and that's the, that's that's just the way it is. Yeah. Well, that's why that's why PewDiePie did English instead of Swedish. Mm. Mm. And now look, he's the number third most subscribed YouTube channel of all time. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Klaus, can you put subtitles on your Danish? Video? I can. Yes, I can. English, English but, right I, back, guys. Yes, I can. But I would have to sit and write every single letter in oh. that subtitle. Yeah, the translator doesn't oh, do it that way. The other way word. it does it, but not his way. Yeah. Klaus it, Klaus, it ain't like you got anything better to do, bruv. You know, I won't take you long. <laughs> <laughs> to, yeah, to, Klaus, to, to, to stay sitting around watching shorts. Klaus, it yeah. would be easier for you yeah. just to do a voiceover. That's all. It would. It would. And and I have been thinking about it. Oh, that's <sighs> interesting. That's but interesting. Have, Who just said yeah. that? Did you say that, Yeah, Ken? I did. Uh, huh? I did. But, I mean, it's it's... Time is a factor. I mean, yeah. you do your 40 hours at regular work. You yeah. do your 25 hours in, in my workshop. And that's pretty much the week there. Klaus, <laughs> Klaus you, you, don't, you don't have to explain to me. I do, no, I no. do, a, I do a, a, full, a full week on nights. And I know all you guys and girls are going to laugh at me because I don't work very hard. And I, I get that, right? But I'm still, <laughs> work, I'm, I'm still working on the opposite side of a clock. So I, still, I, I don't get out of right. bed until... You know, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, something like that. I then come down here for two or three hours. I might do two videos, go back indoors, got to edit it, got to render it, got to upload it, put your ads on, do your thumbnail, do your write-up, do your tags. You know what I mean? And, and make sure that make sure that's all okay. So yeah, technically, we're both running, you know, two, two jobs to, to try and get this try and get this to to, to, to take off in, yeah. to the degree yeah. that we wanted to. It's a, yeah. Being a YouTuber is a lot of hard work, and it's like, you know, I had my 7,000 subscriber giveaway last week, right? You know, I give away 10 mugs, 10 mixed miles mugs. Okay. I didn't notice. I didn't notice. But well, if you, well, if, 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 you, if, you, if you stayed sober for long enough, you, you, you would have known about it, okay? I, 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 had, I, but I didn't win anything. I, it's just, yeah, I don't know. But that's because it wasn't fixed. Um, but, you know, what, <laughs> what, what people, what people don't, don't, I don't think they, they fully appreciate, 10 mugs... You know, they're six pound, six pound fifty, mm. something like that each mm. to get to get posted to your house. You then have to do the giveaway, run that giveaway live stream, whatever it is, for, for two hours. Yeah. You then got to do all the admin, get all the addresses in, get them all posted. And I think I posted one to Bruce. The one I posted to Bruce cost me seventeen pound to post that to Canada. Yeah. Um, the one I had to post to somebody in Ireland cost me about nine quid. What are you sending? Uh, uh, just a, 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 stand, a, a stand of coffee mug, a stand of coffee okay. mug, and I, I had ten to do, so it cost me about yeah. 60, 60, 70 pounds to buy the mugs, yeah. and another further fifty pounds to post them. Yep. Yeah. You know, Con and, Conker, and Conker's got go on. one. Have you got one, Conk? Over? Did, did you get a mug, Conk? Good evening. How are evening. you? All? I all just right. thought I'd try get a word in. You know. <laughs> 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 I, I, I fell asleep. I mean, oh my lord! Yes, I can, mug, mate. Thank you. Hell <laughs> yeah! What, yep, one question, no. though, Mick. One question. Yep. What do I have to pay the postage? Postage what? not paid. Po yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Obviously, like I'm just saying, it cost me sixty pound the post. So you know, I had to get the post reversed. <laughs> See you please, please, please pay the postman. <laughs> it didn't. Do, do you know what it cost? It cost me about 120 pounds to post 10 mugs. That's what it cost. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, and by the time, by the time, by the time you take, 
by the time you take that out of my YouTube earnings for the month, I don't leave a lot of room for spare. You know what I mean? Because oh everyone thinks God. everyone thinks we're, 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 we earn we earn thousands of pounds. Oh. Oh <laughs> it, it was only. It was only. Uh, uh, hold up, people. Hold up, right. It was. It was only about three weeks ago. I had that gentleman down there bitching to me about having to post stickers off and how much it costs to post his stickers around the world. But don't go giving it all the big and conquer. <laughs> hey, you know what? He's not on the panel right now. He's not oh, on the panel yeah, right so, now. So, but so, so, so Phil, I did, Phil did you sell that red mower, Phil? Yeah, all gone, mate. Oh, Chat did you? Was, you yeah. yeah, it went okay. very quickly. Congratulations to Phil. You've managed to do two sales in one year. Well done, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, I want to say this. I want to say this. Um, I want um with Henry, Henry at Mowers and Blowers, he posts a video every single day. I want to know how you know someone gets that done. I find he's, it hard to he's post retired. Videos. At, hey, he's yeah. retired, Andrew. Henry, Henry's now retired. However, Henry is now, from what I believe, he now only posts um five days a week and now has weekends off. He no longer posts at weekends. That's what he's tired, yeah. Yeah, but still, that's commendable. I, I have a, I, you know, I'm struggling just to do three videos a week. Yeah, yeah, I'm but struggling be to do one every ten days. Short, right? <laughs> well, I, I, I can, mean, uh, for I can me, do one a day too if it was just all shorts. Yeah, well, I, I do. Uh, for, well, his are like seven ten minutes long. Shorts, please. The way that I work yeah. it, right? I, I'll come into the <laughs> workshop on a, on like a Monday, and I'll try and do three videos, J just get them recorded. Okay, just yeah. get three videos right. done. Once I've done that, I go up into the house, and I then know I, I then know I've got at least a week and a half off of doing videos. Okay, so I do two videos a week and a live stream, so I've got a week and a half off. Okay, within that week and a half, I may come back down here and try and pump another three videos out in one day. That then gives me two months off, two, two to three months off. Okay. I then go up into the house and I will edit and render those up. So I've got in my YouTube studio about twelve videos, all done, edited, thumbnailed, ready to rock and roll. Just got hit, just got hit the, the public button, and that way you're not under pressure. If you're doing a video every two days, just to get a video out, you're working too hard. Yeah, I'm just now starting to build up. Uh, you know, now I got next week planned and the week after that. You know, so I'm just now starting to build up the what do you call it the the queue. But yeah, then I feel bad, you know, because when you want to do certain like, hey, today is blah, blah, blah day, you know, and you, you got it queued, you know, it's going to throw everything off if you're trying to. Yeah, hey guys, yeah, yeah. I just got a plan what I'm going to do tomorrow morning when I wake up. I don't worry. That's as far as, far as planning as I do is get up in the I, morning. I, I understand that. But if, if you're doing like a series, do you remember when I did my Ransom Marquis vintage mow I did? I think I did about eight videos on that. Yeah. So that, that had to take precedence. In, in, in my workshop now i couldn't have that that all laid out but you know in in primer and bits and bobs you know or, or or in final coat in lacquer that video was done roughly in two weeks okay but by the time i'd done those videos eight videos i was able to space them videos out over four months yeah. you know because otherwise you've got a project sat there and you're and you're, you're spraying other other machines and what have you you're gonna get gonna get a project covered so a project that's why someone said to me when i'm gonna see the dentist the dentist lawnmower back That'll come back once silly season has ended because I need to have a dentist in, stripped down, stripped down, painted, and all lacquered up and out in within two weeks. Otherwise, I'm going to have a 240 kilogram lawnmower, 30 inch cut real mower in here for, for, for five months. It's not going to happen. No. You know, hey, so you, you, it's too much work. Yeah. So you, so your your um your, your your little Briggs engine you're doing, Stephen, at the moment. You've got a little Briggs on the top, haven't you? you you're working at one at the moment. Is yeah. is that is that series complete? As in, your videos on that are done, and you actually have a fidget, a finished product, which we're not allowed to see, or is that still work in progress? Yep, <clears throat> no, I have not even got that since the video I just put out yesterday. Yeah, um, I haven't even got the carb and tank back on the engine yet. So I'm going to okay. work on that this week and hopefully have that the finished one, the finished one done, where we go outside and start the thing. Yeah. Hopefully, it's going to start. I'm worried about that, but I do got to get that video out of the way. So, so that series that I'm doing is done, and then I can move on to 
uh, the lawnmowers and yeah, well, I got a list. Of, when I when I really feel the pressure is that if you have a series, I just did one on a front time tiller. Yeah. Same style engine, Steve, as you're doing. Yeah. And and I released part one. It's a three part. I released part one before I had part three done. That's stressful. <laughs> yeah. Have you actually put in the title also part one, part two, part yeah, three? Yeah, I did. I did. I, I probably should have done that. Or I, well, I can change it too, but that's not a bad idea. What, what, what I what I do with things like that, Steve, if I'm doing if I'm doing like a like a series, I will just add that to its own playlist. Yes, okay. we are. So, as soon as yeah. this one's done, yeah. then I'm going to actually make well, its if, own. If you playlist get like, if you get like, you know, if you get like part two, let's just say you've done <clears> a second, second video on it, just put it in that playlist. I mean, yeah. people can people can then just watch that playlist as, as that playlist is being created. You know, yeah. I was just about okay, to let me ask you though. Know, you guys that are very good with the editing and stuff, I, I I'm seeing like Henry, for example, Mars and Blowers. He'll have a pretty intricate title shot, you know, that comes up that has a full description, everything else, whatever. I mean, you could go back in, hit edit, and change that snapshot to whatever you want. Yeah. So that when people look at it, it'll like, oh, look at that. You know. Yeah. 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 yeah you need any help? Can I just give me a shout, mate? More than happy to help. <laughs> yeah. I was just about to ask you guys, what are your thoughts on people that do part? Only just word, and I turned the damn thing on. <laughs> that second second one, second it has answer. to be said that tonight's tonight's um, stream is superb. There's a certain young lady sat there in a set. Oh, don't start creeping now, Conker. You're far <laughs> too old for that. Old what I was saying was, I was about to ask you guys, what are your opinions on parts, you know, series? Because, like, when I do a video, uh, I want to get the whole repair done in one video. Yeah, Andrew, Either... who's going to watch a three hour video? Nobody. Look yeah. at Musty One. Yeah, but yeah, Musty uh, One is okay, unique. Okay. Musty okay, One. Look at, look at Donut, uh, Donut Media. No. Donut no, Media. Can't... Can, can so, an so, I, I just I just asked my audience the other day because my videos tends to be like an hour long, and I asked them, "What do you want? Do you want half hour, thirty minute videos? Do you want one hour?" I've had, I've had thirty replies, and out of sixteen hundred subscribers, thirty replies is pretty good, and every every single one has said, "Don't change the thing." Okay, do you so, do long so, videos so, or short videos? What so so what, you... what I would say is okay, what I would say is um sometimes um Klaus you, you pump a video out forty seven minutes long, okay? Okay, so he does long videos. Oh, I, 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 no, hang on, hang on. You pump out a video forty seven minutes long. I may not have forty seven minutes in my day to watch that video, okay? So if I can't watch it in one sitting, you're sort of relying on me to come back in three days' time mm. and remember to watch the rest of that video when I've had another 45 notifications come but through. But won't it come up where you left off when you re-click on it? It, 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 yeah. it generally will yeah. do, but, 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 what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is when Henry from Henry from Mows and Blowers pumps a video out, they're generally an hour long each, generally, yeah. okay, generally. When I when I click on Henry's, when he does a video, generally I'm at work, okay, which means I'm not busy, okay? So therefore, <laughs> I, 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 can, I, can then, I can then watch a film. Um, but when yeah. when someone else puts a video out and it's, a, it's an hour long, I think I haven't, I haven't got time to sit here for an hour to watch that. I'd like to commit to it, but I can't do that. So the reason that I do part videos is 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 two reasons. One is it goes for about twenty to thirty minutes. It keeps the audience, in my opinion, um, occupied, engaged for about twenty engaged. minutes. Yeah. And if if the video is entertaining, has enough information in. So many people, but oh no, not a part two. I have to wait till next week. But well, I might not release that part two until another month and a half down the line, mm. because if because then your viewer comes back, I'll mix on a video, click on it. Ah, it's mm. not the one. Oh, what's this one? Oh, it's another video about something else. But they're still waiting for part two to come out in a month and a half later on. Yeah. yeah. But Mick, let me ask the creators though. I never, I never oh, do back. that. Go I ahead, never look. do that. I, I always, if I have a one, two, three series, I may throw in something in the middle of it but i will go one two three sequential that's so, what i would want to see i wouldn't want to check back you know if i'm no, really no, not interested me. Not, not me if you if you look back at my dennis video the very first day i got my dennis in okay mm -hmm. i got it in the shop and uh, we stripped it down a little bit we got, we got it to spark couldn't get it to fire because it's leaking fuel absolutely everywhere it, it was unsafe to fire it 
I then recorded part two that afternoon. Once I, once, once I released a video, I've done come back down the, that day, done the part two, got it up and running, smoked the shed out. Uh, you know, a, a 90, 97 year old machine now now up and running. Um, and I left that part two for just before Christmas, which was about three months later. The views on that video outdone the first one with, uh -huh. within, yeah. With, yeah. within 24 yeah. hours. Yeah. Well, let but me ask a question to yeah. the creators, though. If someone goes back and watches the rest of your video, do you get credit for a whole view? No, because no. But because they watch the first 15 minutes, then they then cut off. So that so that then shows in your analytics that someone's yeah. only watched 15 minutes of an That's hour long. Saying, even though it returns to yeah. the crime, yeah. and it, you know, I, don't, I don't believe you it works. Can, you, can, no. you can even tell if people are jumping around your video too. Like like if you're doing a restoration video and they're only jumping to the end, you could tell that they're doing that. Mm. I mean, the, the other thing also is Klaus is, is, is to bear in mind. Okay, and you, and you made quite an interesting comment. Is that you asked your 1,600 subscribers yeah. on what they thought? Okay. Yeah, yeah. My question to you is, what do your new subscribers want? I have absolutely no clue. Well, this, well, 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 this is a question no. I'm asking. I'm asking you yeah. because yeah. how do you know who's new you, and who's you, not? I mean, you, you've got the, you've got this clientele. You're 1,600. How many of those are, are, are YouTube bots? How many of those are grow streamer want to sub for sub? And how many are hardcore hobby motor subscribers who watch your videos every single week or every time you hit a button, I, they're I would, on it, okay? Uh, when, since I only have 1,600 subscribers, I can actually recognize a lot of the names coming on. Uh, okay. And, and, but, and I would say three quarters of the replies I got, I recognize as someone who has commented before. I get that, okay. But what I'm saying to you is, is uh, I like to grow my channel, try and try and try and <laughs> encourage new people in. And like um, I think someone has said here, John T has just said, um, thirty minutes is, is is good. I don't always have time to watch for longer. Yeah, but okay. I try to keep mine around thirty minutes. And, 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 and honestly, Mick, that was that was why I asked my audience because mm. I know the thirty minute limit for a lot of people. Yeah. And, and I know that I personally have a problem limiting myself. I, I want everything in. But again, doing 30 minute videos, I, I would feel I am not telling the whole story. Um, and, 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 and so, maybe so, 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 so maybe, so maybe, okay. Um, most of my videos are 30 minutes long, most of them, okay. I do try to to go for that mark. Sometimes they're 20, sometimes they're 40, okay. But I do, I do edge for, for that bit there. What I would say to you is, okay, is all your mumbo jumbo bit in the middle, where you're searching for tools or you're doing, you know, you're, you're, moving, you're moving the camera around, all that sort of stuff. Just try and condense it, okay, just so you are actually giving your 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 viewer base more detailed information on what you're actually doing, rather than um, all, 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 all the stuff that. Potentially, you could lose 15 minutes, five minutes out of some editing software where perhaps it's, it's, it's neither here nor there whether it's in or not. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? And, and John, John is saying he, he has 30 minutes for his, for his lunch at work. That's yeah. when he watches a video. Yeah. You know, yeah. if he's got 30 minutes to eat, eat his crisps, his sandwich and his drink and a chocolate bar, he's got 30 minutes to do that. He's going to watch a video for 30 minutes rather than watching one for 45. He's not going to get the last, the last 15 minutes. Uh, I'll skip, though, Mick. Uh, if, a, if a video is 45 minutes and I have a half hour for lunch, I may skip until there's 28 minutes left, start it, and watch it. There you so go. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly yeah. that, you no, see. Yeah. So, I so, got a so question you, for Mick Mower. Yeah. What, 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 uh, Mick, and, Mick and Steve, I think I know a lot of what the other people use, but what do you guys use for video editing software? I use Premiere Pro. I use a software called um, Movie Who's Studio Vegas? Platinum 14. Which is what Vegas, you Nick. You use Sony Vegas. Yeah, Sony Vegas, yeah. Okay. I have me. So, I just, so, I just use iMovie. Yeah, then, I, I mean, do, do you know what? It, it, it really doesn't matter what... what I'm just curious. It, I'm just curious. It, it I, don't, I don't think it matters what, what software you use, okay? What matters is, is that you have to be unique, okay? Yeah. You have to be engaging. You have to be sometimes entertaining or serious, whatever way you want your channel to be. Um, and there has to be a structure. So everyone knows when I do my video, yeah. there's generally a three-minute intro 
Well, I'll be doing sticker shout outs or something's happened or Riley Boy be here. He'll have a parcel. So you've got three minutes of me waffling on. After that three That's minutes. Stone, mate. That's yeah, exactly. Stone, exactly. Um, after that three minutes, we're getting down and dirty and we're going to get into it, you know. And if there's a yeah. pull cord and he's doing, you've seen a hundred pull cords. You don't need to see me do another pull cord, right? You need to see me, you yeah. need to see me fi fix the machine. Because I have a pull cord video up here in the top right hand corner, right? Uh, and that, that's, that's what you do. But I, I just feel, unless you're someone like Musty or Steve or even Bruce for that matter, I watch Bruce clean a car breath for 35 minutes, no problem. I'm going to fit it for five, mm. you know. But it all, it all depends on your channel content. So if, you're, if you've got a lot of wind interference going on, your audio's all over, your visuals are mm. all over the shop where you're, you're using a, a, a mobile tr a GoPro and you're not, you're not going to understand, those are all the things out of that 30 minute video that are going to put people off. Another question I got. Um, I mean, I've seen a lot of people say they want to see it, but I don't see a lot of people do it. Um, what do you guys think about after you fix a machine, whether it's a lawnmower, chainsaw, rototiller, or whatever it is, what do you guys think about at the end, a little demo of you using the tool? You know, if you're using a chainsaw, cutting some wood, if you're using a lawnmower, cutting the grass. Well, it's, fu it's funny. It's funny you say that because I watched a video a little while ago off of a channel, uh, and he tuned up. A, I think it was an MS one hundred and eighty. I think he tuned it up and what have you. And then he said, "Yeah, all running fine, no problem," but didn't actually show him using it. And so many comments say, "Didn't see you. Didn't I? Didn't see you test it? You know what, what's going on?" So you know you have to. Do it may not have performed under load. <clears throat> exactly would, that. You so guys, um, would, would you guys think that's a good idea? though? because I, I oh, want to start doing that. Oh, you every gotta single, show it, even if it's only for five seconds. Just show every it. Every single every single video that I do, whether the machine starts, runs, or runs badly, um, I always show it at the end because someone someone might say, "Yeah, it runs nice, Mick," but do you know what? Could do with it. Could do with the valves need, need doing on it, or it, it could do. It, and, and that's your engagement. That's where people then, you know, you, yeah. you're talking talking to, to people as well. See, so yeah, definitely show it. There's no point just fixing it and then leaving it, is it? I was just curious because you know it's like some people just don't do them, you know. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, Root bag says uh, Mick does that. He finishes with the machine in in action. Exactly that. It's, it's important. Yeah, I, I think you got to show it. You can't, you know, unless you're just doing a a quick how to video. That's different. If you're doing a how to, like um, Donny Boy did a uh, the, the hidden hidden screen in the inlet jet or the, the inlet feed. Right. You know, he, he didn't actually show the machine running or not running. He just showed you that how to bit on on that. So that's a different video entirely. You know. So you have to sort of just do do what works for you. My advice is to make your channel as unique as you can. It has to be about you. How I know, but you, you know, I, I'm still learning. So all you guys, all you guys been doing this a long time, have a lot of subscribers. So I'm just curious on, you know, maybe some tips to help me yeah. out, you know. Andrew, I noticed... ask your customers or ask your your, your subscribers, Andrew. Yeah, what well, happened? A lot I'm of my waiting, customers, waiting. Yeah, I say customers, a lot of my subscribers yeah. will say to me, Kenny, you do a lot of short videos, you know, a lot of tips and tricks and stuff like that. And ask Mick, that's where I started, tips and tricks. Okay, yeah. little stuff. Okay. And it got me good subscribers. But now people are like, okay, Kenny, we know you do this stuff. We know you do it all every weekend. Show us an in depth, do something. So I did, I did a Husqvarna tractor today. Okay. A full Husqvarna tune up, a yada, 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 all that stuff. It is probably an hour's worth of video. And I'm going to see, I'll release it later. And I want to see the reaction. I want to see if I get views or whatever. Because if, if only half the people watch it, then I'll either do a part one, part two next time or something. Yep. But you have to put it out there in different forms to see what they react and how they react. Exactly that. Um, Ken, I was the first person to tell you, Ken, I like your videos, but they're not long enough. And I'm sick yeah. and tired of, of watching the, the, the driveway and what have you and not getting enough information. But that's exactly yeah. what I said from you. You know, mm. I said, just put, put the camera up, push record and get on with the job and then Ken come back and pick the bones out of it later on. Ken's latest video caused some um, debate. A lot of people were debating. Now. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. No, I just can't no, stand no, it. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it because no. it was engaging. I, I take everything for payment. Yeah. It don't matter. If if they're going to give me something, I'll, you know, I'll take it. What's that? What, what, what he made a video about to? that um, he prefers cash. Like, you for, know, well, I, don't like, like no, I don't like I don't like checks. Yeah, yeah, or Venmo yeah. or Cash App or PayPal. I mean, it, keep yeah, in mind, it, PayPal. Once you hit two grand, the IRS sends you a ten ninety nine. Don't, don't, don't forget, don't, so, don't forget. There's a difference in channel here, okay? So you know, some there are some other channels that you know they do. Uh, how do you get paid? How to set up your business? 
what what are the best spares to buy in this that and the other okay so yeah. but that is a different platform entirely oh, yeah. to what i'm a hobbyist that's all i am exactly, a hobby. exactly that oh, no, so that was thing. You, you, have to, you have to you have to sort of um understand that how other people run their their channels because of the way their channel is laid out um is different to how i do mine so i i don't do 4k recording I have probably some of the worst lighting you've ever seen on a YouTube channel going. I have wind interference when, it, when it's really blowy because I'm a man in a shack with limited tools and uh, doing it in, in my spare time where other I like people... That. I like the limited tools thing. It's what, it's what it that's is, you know. You, 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 have, you, have, you have to make it work. I'm, I'm not into 4K, high resolution, you know, still shots. Like you know. But I like, I like Ken's joke. I like Ken's joke about PayPal. Oh, yeah, pay me, pal. <laughs> exactly that, you know. It's like it's like someone says to me, you know, if, if I if I advertise a lawnmower, they say um, hundred pounds if I if I pick it up now cash. Well, you still hundred pounds right. pick up in a week, pick up in a week's time and pay me in peanuts. It's the same, it's the same money. You know, I'm, right. I'm not worried. You know, so it's it's the same thing. So people seem to think they get they get a better Ken, deal. If I gotta ask, I gotta ask, Ken, do you guys still use checks? Oh no. yeah, oh yeah, no. you do. Okay. Yeah, my wife mails out bills with checks. Some of the stuff is digital, but she still mm. writes some checks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I try not to. I would rather go all digital, to be honest with you. But when someone gives me a check for a twenty-five dollar bill, and it's the Bank of Lower Sclobobia, that I don't know where the hell that is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Okay. I've once taken Bitcoin as payment. Oh no! <laughs> I, I, do, do you know what? For, for for what it is, I'm I'm not I'm not a big business. I'm just a hobby. It's yeah, cash. Right. It's cash. I don't bring it in. Do you know what I mean? It's what it is. Yeah. Especially yeah. under fifty dollars. Come on, you know. Well, I, I, I have a bloke, we have, a, we have a Danish version of, of we have a Danish version of Google Pay, yeah. which works right. quite well. I like I like okay, Google yeah, Pay yeah, too. Yeah. But but Good. IRS has their finger. It, there you go. Yeah, That's yeah, a yeah, two thousand yeah, yeah, dollars yeah. threshold. Yeah. Exactly that. I, I had a fella come in last week. Right, it was a car break clean. Okay. And that's all it needed. A straightforward carburetor clean. I have a set price for manual and a set price for ultrasonic. The two different prices because ultrasonic takes a bit longer. Yeah. You, you, need to, you need to prepare it differently. Hell, you're putting in liquid and stuff that's costing you money. So I charge yeah. different for a manual clean to ultrasonic. So if <clears throat> if someone comes in and wants a carburetor clean, okay, I clean it manually. It doesn't work. I put it in the cleaner. They're getting two bills. One for yeah. manual, one for, one yeah. for ultrasonic. Okay? Yeah. It's, it's, and, and I make no bones about it. That's what it is. Nick, how did you start out the conversation with the customer? Did the customer say, try it that way first? Yeah, yeah, exactly okay. that. So you, so you right. say, I can well, do as long as they know up front. I'll, yeah. I'll yeah. Up. yeah. Make, make no but, bones but, about but, it. You know, it what, do you do, what do you do with a guy that comes in and say, doesn't run, fix it? Okay, so so I, I say, well, it could be car bread. I could try manual clean. Oh, if that doesn't work, I have to try ultrasonic. Be, be two prices. Uh, that's what it is. What's the you, price difference? What's the price difference? The, you don't have to tell me the exact price. Just like no, a it's number. Usually twenty. It's usually twenty difference. Yeah, it's about it's ten pounds prices between yeah, ultrasonic okay. and manual. Yeah. But don't forget, that would just tell you to clean it it's in the it's ultrasonic. It's pay it's the extra because, money, get it done because, right. Because don't forget, when you do an ultrasonic clean, you don't just get the carburetor off the machine and throw it in there, do you? You got to strip it down. You might have to clean it first before it goes in. Put it in. When it's done, you have to bring it out, give it another little clean, blow it all off. So you're still manually cleaning anyway, but the process takes you longer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In, in in ultrasonic. Yeah, so he then he then said, yeah, okay, go for ultrasonic. So I give it ultrasonic clean, done that, give him the bill. Okay. He said, have you got a fiver? I don't have change. No, <laughs> I haven't got a fiver. Okay. Bearing in mind, bearing in mind, this is on a Friday night. He brings it in Saturday morning. Okay, the machine is done, up and ready, running by Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. Mm. It's taken me an hour. The turnaround has been best part of 14 hours, and I have slept in between that time. Yeah. You know, take it to a shop and have a carburetor clean for 80 pounds and wait three weeks. And have you got right. a fiver? I haven't got a fiver. You know, so mm. I'm hoping he might just give me, give, give me a round number and give me a five pound tip. Did he buggery? He went and got changed for a fiver. <laughs> That's yeah, what it is. Because ninety percent of my some customers people, doesn't give me the tip. Like that. Yeah, yeah. It's what it is. I, I have a guy who comes in every year. He's been coming in for the last eight or nine years, and every time he says, "Oh, that's expensive." Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. You know, so I, I, I always, why, why don't why don't you go try a dealer and see what happens? So, so I I always say <laughs> right when I I've had when people I'm, tell me I'm too cheap. When I, when I when I sell a lawnmower, okay, most of my lawnmowers, in my opinion, okay. 
they are fairly priced. I, they're not overpriced because I'm not, I'm not a shop, okay? But I, I think they're fairly priced, okay? Fully serviced, good to go, fully tested. I don't sell anything that isn't running. It's as simple. If it, if it don't run right, it don't leave. It's a simple. I don't want it coming back, okay? So someone will say, oh, you can buy them brand new and so-and-so for, for another 30 quid. Where are you going, son? Well, go I'm for not, it. Yeah, I'm not, go I'm ahead. Not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not making you buy it, but you go onto their website and have a look. It'll say out of stock. They haven't got none in. COVID has absolutely ruined it. Yeah. So go down to B&Q oh. and go and buy the same lawnmower, which, which is my, my one, say, five years older. Go and buy the same lawnmower, same engine type for £275. That's their cheapest mower they have in stock right now. Yeah. Go, go yeah. and buy that. Two-year warranty. Away you go. Or yeah. buy mine for £100 cheaper. I I missed, put my, you had mentioned uh, COVID. I got a quick announcement, though. My dealer this morning said to me, now he services all brands, Coro, everything, Steel Echo. There is going to be a shortage coming up on filters, spark plugs, all the general stuff that we order. There's going to be a shortage coming up in the next month or two. So I recommend to all you guys, order the bulk filters, plugs, all the stuff you use a lot. Order them now because they're predicting, all the distributors are predicting a shortage in the next three months. I was I was told that um, Italy Mountfield, uh, the, you know, the, the supply uh, Mountfield, they're going yeah. into factory lockdown and they would not be producing any machines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So, um, ha, ha, Some ha, of ha, the U.S. manufacturers are asking them for their winter orders now. Yeah, exactly yeah. that. Hayes, Hayes yeah. machinery have Hayes machinery have told me. James told me, Mick, if you see a broken lawn mower, buy it because yeah. in three months' time. There's yeah. going to be none in the shops, yep. and this is what I'm saying he, to this. Yeah. This is what I'm saying to this gentleman, Ken. He said you can buy that for a hundred pounds in the shop. Go onto their website. They haven't got them. No, not in stock. They, they, they haven't been in stock since last year. They're yeah. not there. So if your choice is go and buy a brand new one from B and Q, two hundred seventy pound, two year warranty. Go and knock yourself out. Or here's a year one ago, here. Around. A year ago, when I a year ago when I ordered steel parts from my steel dealer. Uh, yeah. It would take three, four days for it to show up. Mm. Uh, last six back. months, la last six months, it takes a minimum of two weeks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Root bag has just said um, there's a shortage in the same in building supplies. I went to oh, three, yeah. three building supply shops this week to buy bags of cement, and all three building supplies in my in my area did not have any cement at all. All gone. Mm. Nothing. Yeah. All the Sorry. lumber yards around here have big lists on their doors of what they don't have. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Right. It's what it is. You know, it's what it is. You, you, I, I'm in. I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush to sell any of my machines. They can sit here till next year for all I care. I'll just winterize them and put them out next year. I don't need the money. I'm in no rush. So therefore, if someone says I'll give you thirty quid for that instead, <laughs> I will put it in the shed for thirty quid. Yeah. Do, do, do you know what I mean? I'll sell it next year for seventy. It's done. Yeah. You know, but so many people, you know, I think money is tight anyway. Money is tight. Um, and I understand that. So that's why my machines are priced fairly. I mean, me and Conker were having this chat, weren't we, Conk? Just the other day about your Makita. You yep. were under the impression that your Makita would fetch just over the 200 pound mark somewhere in there. Yeah. And I said, you might get 180 out of it, 120 at a push. You know, that's what it would sell down my neck of the woods. I don't know what it sold for. I don't, I don't, you know, you don't have to tell anyone. But I, I've got a feeling it sold for roughly 120, 180, somewhere in there. But, but, but that's what I, I would guess at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It you was know? a bargain for somebody. There you go. So, so you know, it was, a, it, it was a bargain for somebody. You didn't get the money you wanted out of it. Because no, I still make money. I still made money on it. I, I've always said, I've always said, as long as you either get your money back or you break even and you have educated yourself and potentially yeah. get a service out of somebody next year, that's when yeah. you're going to earn your money. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, one thing, thing too, Mick, when you talk about videoing, you know, we don't charge for education. If we've learned about something with the mower, you definitely can't charge that. But even filming today, it was probably an hour and a half worth of work, but it took mm -hmm. me three hours because I filmed it. Yeah, yep. you know? yeah, exactly. You can't, you can't, and you, you can't charge that. No. Can, can. I, I, I've lost, I've lost count of the amount of times I've done a job right on on on, on, a, on a mower. I've recorded it. Okay. And I'm happy, right? I think it went really well. I go back to my camera, and it didn't bloody record. Yeah. I've had to come all the way back down, take it apart, take, take the machine apart, yeah. and do it all yeah. over again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've done that with That's missing audio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
classic. Classic. Well, see, that, that's when I'd voice well, over. You can just do a voiceover. You know, if you lose your yeah, audio. With the videos. But, but, the but, you see, but you see, a voiceover for me. It's not the same. A voiceover is yeah, thank you, Ken. A voiceover for me is not like live. It's not it's yeah. not happening as it's happening, you know. For for me, but, but, as a viewer, I would rather watch somebody do a video step by step than a voiceover because I know either one they've made a mistake mm. or and the voiceover never actually the way you talk in a voiceover never actually runs alongside it. Apart from that one bloke from eight is it um home garden? He does good voiceovers um on, on his videos, but his are always voiceovers. You know, so yeah, it, it depends. But, uh, me personally, I'd rather do it as it is because you get you get the comedy value with me. You know, I if, think, I, if I make a mistake, it's what yeah. it is. I think when you uh, uh, can correct me if I'm wrong, James Condon, he sometimes do voiceovers, right? Uh, not not that often. No, normally, if it's because he's not happy with the filming or something about it, or if something screwed up, he'll do a voiceover. But remember, James has that voice. You'll listen to him, you know, recite the Bible. You don't care. Yeah, you just like to listen yeah. to his voice. Yeah, you know? yeah. Absolutely. Like, he's, he's absolutely fantastic to yeah. listen to yeah. him. Yeah. He's almost like Musty, where he gets you into yeah. it and you want to watch yeah. it, you know? Yeah. So, so, that, so, that, so that works. That works. For that it, 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 would, it wouldn't work for me. It wouldn't no, work for me. It would I, work couldn't, for me I couldn't be that calm on my videos. That's just me. Yeah. No. Hey Ken, when are you gonna do an updated um heat gun video? I'm waiting to get uh either Henry's gun back or something because I want to do all three, and one of them's up at Henry's place. I always sound like Jack Hargreaves, Ken. You do. <laughs> I, I was in the same boat. I really like the video, but I wish you were doing hot stuff too. Oh no, no I'll do hot stuff. I'll do chainsaw. Oh. I'll bring a few chainsaws up. No big deal. I know. I'm just waiting for it. I was just letting you know. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm the, I'm the, I, I was so, I, when I watched your video, Ken, I kind of like it because I have the cheapo gun, the Stanley one. Oh, yeah. But for what we're doing, even with a chainsaw, though, I mean, yeah. if the thing's 360 degrees versus 365, who gives a turkey, right? I'm yeah, gonna, absolutely. I'm going to see if Project Farm has one. No, Project Farm, I don't know if he did the guns, but the only thing with the guns, too, is I've used them years ago when I was a drag racer. You know, you shine them at the header, you see which yeah. one's firing or not firing, you know, this and that. Yeah. But, I mean, a few degrees either way isn't going to kill you, you know? Yeah. Not sure. no. And and yours just, were like, what, three degrees difference tops? Yeah, and it, it really, wasn't a lot. And the thing is $15 yeah. versus $450. Right. Yeah. I, I have the $15 one. Oh yeah, and I, I do too. Me, me too. Yeah. Where I work, we actually have the flare infrared cameras where we shine everything because right. we have oh, to. See, I mean, and it's, nice. it's good down they're to nice. a hundredth of a degree. But yeah. when you're talking electrical safety, yeah, maybe it makes a difference. But most yes, time, no. I I have one. I have one. I just use it to tease the cats. <laughs> remember though, you're not supposed to fire some of those lasers at anything though. Just remember. Yeah, I just oh. use the laser pointer to. Uh, like oh. run around, oh. kitties. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, <laughs> I, yeah. Check the, I, I check the girlfriend from time to time. See how she's going. Yeah. I'm going to borrow because I'll say, Mick. I think we've run out of time, buddy. Yeah. De yeah. Definitely. Yeah, cheers, Parky. Right. I'm going to say. Right, Parky. Right. So, um, so thank you very much for everyone joining. Um, unfortunately, over here in the UK, it is nine o'clock at night, and uh, my Mrs. P is indoors waiting for me to, to go and see her, give her a nice big cuddle because I was like, I do love my wife. So I'm going to see her for a few hours before I go to bed. Good stream, very, cool stream. very important. So I'd like to thank um, Henry for coming up, Mel Mucker. Thank you very much, Henry. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Hobby Motor Klaus. And um, thank you, Shorty. I don't, what was your, what was your name? Stella. Stella. Thank you, Stella, for popping up. As, as always, you're welcome anytime you like. Pleasure, Stella. Anytime Good to you have like. you here. Pleasure. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I really appreciate being yeah. here. You're welcome. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Conker. Uh, for once, Conker, you said nothing. It's been absolutely brilliant. And, I couldn't um, get out of That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Is all you yapping? If you can um, give, oh, us a, give, us a <laughs> give us a thumbs up on your way out. Be much appreciated. Don't forget, Ken's Small Engines will be going live tomorrow. Two o'clock in the UK time. I think it's two o'clock, Ken, is it? Two? Eight, eight o'clock Eastern time, one o'clock your time. One o'clock my time. Yeah. Don't forget, Ken, Ken's live at uh, one o'clock. And then Conker will be live at round about, well, anywhere between seven and midnight, Conker goes live. Depends <laughs> if he can get to work or not. If I get to work. Night. So look after yourselves. Stay safe. Stay clean. And uh, I'll stay see you well. next Saturday night on the Mixed Mario Show. Look after yourself. Bye-bye.